fucking kind of pissing me off, Seamus. His car, uh, our card hasn't showed up yet. So, oh, hold on. Girlfriend's calling. I'll call you back. Yeah, what's going on? Well, because I forgot to grab stuff and I'm trying to make something kind of special. I stopped at Ollie's and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to make some peanut butter stuff and, uh, yeah, peanut butter pretzel with like m and M. So, I mean, I could probably get it tomorrow. I don't necessarily need it tonight. So, all right. I'm guessing you're on your way home, so. Okay. All right. Okay. So. All right. All right. Well, I'll see you when you get home. All right. Love you too. Bye. All right. Sorry about that. That was, uh, girlfriend calling i just got an email from the comics gym and uh hey charlie from charlie's model garage yeah what's going on charlie sorry that was a girlfriend i was trying to do the whole call button whatever thing plus she said you were driving so so as i got one person in here i've been doing about a minute and a half of that um yeah hold that thought let me put it on speaker and we'll see what We'll see what happens. All right. You is on speaker. We'll set you up here on the computer. We'll see. I don't know. I might drop you. I might not. So, wow, we're almost two minutes in this. So, good deal. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Cliff with Jam Mechanic Scale Modeling. So, tonight uh, we have a call in. Charlie from Charlie's Model Garage. Is on speakerphone live. Uh, everybody. We are going to uh, unbox the hold on the, the Hooper model, the seventy Firebird Pontiac, and we're going to go over some tools. And we got some mail call. Unfortunately, hey Rick, what's going on, brother? Glad you could make it. So, so Rick Zenick has entered the room. Boom. It really sucks that I have not gotten um Seamus's card yet. So we'll probably so I'll probably say here, grab a drink. Hey, hey Tim, what's going on? Glad you can make it. Ah. There we go. Tapping the silver bullet tonight at the Rocky, the last pint. Mmm. Ah. Good deal. All right. And we got, of course, the Irish coffee in the camouflage cup. Drinking the Kilbergen. Irish whiskey, single grain for our single malt. So uh, we got our mail call here. Seamus, what's going on, brother? All right. So hopefully your card does show up tonight. I checked the mail when I came in. The girlfriend is going to uh, check the mail on her way home. Um, so hopefully your card showed up and, uh, yeah. So let's get on with the mail call. And if it comes in, I'll do a late mail call. So I think I said this on the uh, last one. I got a Christmas card from, uh, Tony and Jackie Walsh over at Walsh farms. We got a nice Christmas card, some kind words in it. So thank you. I got that last week. Can't remember if I did it in a live stream. Um, I also got Mr. BG's card. Sweet card. Love it. It's uh, pretty cool. And open up on the inside and showed this to the girlfriend, and she loves it. So, yes, that is pretty cool. John, what's going on? Glad you can make it. So, so we got. Mail call from Brian. Also, if I have your address, uh, Christmas cards should be out. Whether they showed up or not, but Christmas cards are out. You should have some um, in the way or on the way, not in the way. Either way, it's post service. So we got another mail call. Christmas from uh, Christmas card from 
Rambler 69, old Tom. Nice glitter card. It's all kind of shiny and glittery, and I like it. Touche. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean, Seamus. It's, uh, you know, so this card right here from Tom and Susan, thank you. Appreciate it. And like I said, if I got your address, your Christmas card should be out in the mail, and hopefully it gets there soon, and I'm hoping that because I live out in a rural area, and the girlfriend, well, I'm not saying the girl, the post lady sometimes delivers late. So, um, yeah, so we didn't really get a whole lot done um, as far as model builds, because I've been busy doing other stuff between fixing snowmobiles. Ooh, excuse me, help my father do some projects. Saturday, I had an issue with my truck, which that was fun. And if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. So I had a rear caliper hang up on the back of my truck. And let's see if I can get the pictures to come up. Yay, there's a thing saying that I'm going live from, there we go. All right, let's see if I can do this. And we got Big Charlie on the phone. Let's see if I can get to my photos. Hi, from everybody. So Charlie says hi, and uh, we got a full room. Okay, sweet. Tim, thank you. Appreciate it. Glad you got the card. I Like I said, if I had your address, uh, you got a Christmas card. So, And once I mailed it out, it was in the post office's hands, not mine. So... There was a meme I had. Yep. You know, <laughs> once it leaves my hands, it's out of my control. And then, uh, yeah, so went out, took the VMAX out a little bit. That was before. Took that out for a little scoot. Hey, hey, what's going on, Cole? Glad you could make it. So that was there. So. I was on my way to the gas station to get fuel for the sleds. So I had stopped over at my buddy's house, got their cans, put their cans in the back. And I was rolling through, and then I went to slow down for a stop sign at a weird intersection coming out of the 326, uh, which is like a rural route. And I pushed my brakes, and the pedal goes to the floor. Good times. So, yeah. And this here is a picture of the caliper apparently the right rear caliper hung up and when the caliper hung up um it decided it was going to wear into the piston on the caliper and it kind of made a nice little groove tore up the rotor and puked out a bunch of fluid and there's a pads one pad is bigger than the other you can see this Right here was the inboard pad. That was the outboard pad. Still decent amount of meat on the outboard pad. Surprising. I mean, not as much as on the, well, there's a lot more on the outboard versus the inboard. So, yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. So, that's what I spent my Saturday doing. Other than, yeah. So, I got to just take the sled out for a quick test run and, yeah, made sure that it stayed going. So, um did a mail call um i got some tools that i uh picked up hey hey oh, what's going on brother sounds good oh hell yeah i'll be looking for that gasser john 55 chevy gasser so well i went to go get some uh two stroke oil because i don't you know i'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm lucky I can drive. That's the only thing. And it was like out in the county route. So, yeah, especially when it's uh, really cold out. That's where it, uh, <laughs> yeah, especially dealing with brakes. That's, uh, yeah, but I got it done. So I decided to cover my ass. I should have done it today, but I was busy Christmas shopping. But I, uh, I just bought a new rotor or new rotor caliper and still had to set a brake pad so probably someday this week possibly either tomorrow or wednesday i'm going to end up replacing uh, um 
left side caliper just so I have brand new brakes going across the ass and not have to worry about it. So at least make it till 2021. So, <laughs> so while I was at the um, parts store, um, King's Auto Supply, they uh, had this little thing like the $5 tools and it's a mini tubing cutter. Even though I do have one for brakes, it works good. It's a small kind of cheap one for cutting a metal tube. I mean, this will be just for my bench because I have one that goes with my flaring kit. So nice. You're going to bang when you're in there. I don't know. I might. It's a full float and rear axles being a one being a one ton. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure the bearings and stuff like that won't be too bad. I mean, I could probably pull the shafts. I checked uh, differential fluid while I was under there, and that looked good, and that was up there. So, oh, uh, that I don't know. I might do the bearings on the front. We'll see. Last time I had it up in the air, um, and. Uh, they all look good in there, so that's so that's a good sign. But this little tubing cutter, good for cutting your copper or your uh, aluminum, whatever pipe you got, brake line. Um, so got that. It was only like five bucks. Figure I can use it in the house instead of breaking into my uh, brake and uh, my uh, brake. So then I also stopped at Harbor Freight today. And got this cool self lock in vise that goes pretty wide. You can adjust. I can put a decent size model in here. I mean, it's probably a little overkill, but I mean, this wasn't bad. I can't remember. I think this is like six bucks or something. I had it, I had a coupon, so it was only like. Actually, no, I don't even think it was that. I think it was like three, four bucks for his clamp. And it's, you know, Harbor Freight. It's metal clamp. So, and it's got the nice agronomic uh, handle and it's a quick release. It's got the grooves in there. Kind of nice. And it must be mommy's home for the bear or the dogs are out. So, what are you doing, bear? Also, while I was at Harbor Freight, I got the mare brushes. And uh, taper bearings on the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't have a solid axle. I wish I did. Um, but I think I'll have to look at them. I think they're the throwaway bearings. I know on the last, uh, on my last truck, but that was a 2000, it's 2013. So hoping they got serviceable bearings in there. And then I got some airbrush cleaning tips so I can go through and uh, clean them airbrushes. Don't mind me. I got a couple hairs that are tickling my nose. So um, then pick them up from Harbor Freight. Uh, 68, 155 key ring styles. Just something to, like I said, now that I got an airbrush and like I said, it probably won't be till next week. I, I, I've been not necessarily putting stuff off, but like I said, I've been busy with other projects. Hey, hey, Kevin, what's going on, brother? Glad you can make it. We're just sitting there and did a mail call. Showed off a couple tools that I picked up. Um, we're going to do uh, unboxing, but I might actually do my Ollie score first. So I went to Ollie's today. Oh, yeah, I went to Ollie's now. For all the Star Wars guys out there, basically that's what I got is I got a lot of Star Wars kits. So I figure they're level one, level two for my nieces. Um, and I also found a Halo kit for that. So first kit we got is a Rebel U-Wing Fighter. It's a level two. It's a Ravel kit. Yeah, exactly. I remember uh, on my 86, I used to have when I used to do that, I used to pull them apart, pull the centers out, 
repack them with grease, throw them back in, call it a day. Shit, maybe like an, maybe like an hour, if that. It didn't take long to do that. So, um, yeah. Get some dental brush brushes for the airbrush. So now I could probably do that too. I'll have to look see what I got for uh, toothbrushes. But so this is a Star Wars model. It's a Rebel U Wing fighter. It's one kit. It's a snap kit. It comes with light and sound. So it's like kind of like a baby Seamus kit because it's got lights and sound. So, so like I said, I don't have to do all that. It's already pre-done. Uh, like I said, it's level two, ages eight to 10. It's snap tight, light sound and functional parts. No glue paint or tools required, but yet it takes an hour to build. So, but there it is. There's all the parts. I guess it all just snaps together and you play with it. It's 35 pieces. It's Disney. It says so right there. So, you know, because they bought all the Star Wars. So we got the uh, Rebel Ewing Fighter. We've got the good old rusty, trusty Millennium Falcon. I mean, got that. This one's only 19 pieces. Um, um, no, actually, let's see what this one says. Um, uh, oh, this one's only 30 minutes to put together. So the Millennium Falcon only takes uh, – hey, hey, Tom, glad you can make it. I got your card. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Hey, I, have, Tom. I got big Charlie on the phone, too. He's kind of driving. So since he's driving, it's, uh, you know, so – oh, Okay, brushes for dentures. Well, that's what I mean. It's like pretty cool because it's got lights and sound. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, lights, action sounds and lights. So this one takes 30 minutes. So I don't know who this Poe guy is, but I've heard of him. He's the, the black dude. That's why he's got a black aircraft, which is pretty fucking awesome. It's black and orange. I might just say Harley Davidson. Because, well, you slap a couple Harley Davidson stickers on this X Wing, and there you go. You could be rocking redneck out in space. So, this kit. Yeah, exactly. It's all, it's all black and orange. So, uh, this one takes a half hour. It's also got the lights and sounds. Um, I found these at Aldi. Oh, wow. Ollie's, not Aldi's. It's only 18 uh, pieces. And there it is. It looks like pretty simple build. Um, we've got a resistance X-Wing fighter. So this one looks like it's uh, blue with the uh, gray. So since it's blue and gray, it's the same. Takes 30 minutes to build. 18 parts. So you got your little droid up in there. I wonder if maybe if you built this, you could, uh, you know, uh, maybe paint it your own colors. Who knows? That's the nice part about being a snap kit. One thing I've been seeing about these newer snap kits is they ain't really got a lot of flash. They don't require a lot of cleanup, and they go together quick. So I might hold on to these for some of them 48-hour uh, group builds or whatever just because, well, you know, I mean, who needs, you know, a whole 48 hours? I mean, it's... <laughs> um, here's another one. There. Exactly. You know, I'll have to build them all in one shot. So we got the first order um, TIE fighter, uh, special forces. Um, so this looks kind of cool. Same thing. Level one. It's a Ravel kit. It's by Disney lights and sound. <laughs> That's true. Seamus. Yes. It's like, yeah, 30 minutes to build four hours later, six hours later. <laughs> Kind of like that whole SpongeBob thing there. It's like four hours later, six hours later. Job is only supposed to take a half hour. So this one's got 15 parts, but the nice thing is, like I said, you can paint them up however you want. Um, hey, hey, Ernie, what's going on? Glad you could make it. We got big Charlie on the phone. So this one is cool. Oh, no shit. That's pretty cool. Virginia Beach. Oh, shit. Charlie's going to be in Virginia Beach. 
Ah. So I got this one, the AT Act or Attack Death Cargo Walker. So I don't know if this is the, yeah, it's a cargo walker, not the regular one, but same thing. This one is uh, level two, so it takes probably an hour to build. So, yeah, it's got the lights and sound and requires nothing. But, like I said, the Imperial Walker. Well, yeah, that's a nice thing about Big C getting around. He uh, He's a driver, so this one's got 45 pieces. So, this one's a little bit more. Um, so, we got that. Um, like I said, Ollie's is great. I was looking for car models, but they didn't have any of the car models. Bear, relax. I know mommy's home, but relax. And don't trip over my models. Oh, excuse me. And last but not least, for all the Halo fans out there, we have a Warthog. So this one is the same. It's got... Yeah, light up machine gun, three UNSC Spartan figures. It's got Master Chief Kelly 087 and then Frederick 104. So, oh, there's another one. It's called a UNSC Pelican. So it's the aircraft. So Ravel's got these kits. Had one of them waters in the Oh, yeah, I'm sure it'd probably take tons of batteries, especially to make them walk. No, nah, Seamus had uh, one of them walking things like I was showing. So, and this one could three figures, light and sound, all snap tight. So, yeah, these might be something that a couple of them probably go out for Christmas gifts. I don't know if they'll go out to the family. One might go to my niece or they might become giveaways. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just build them all and do some random stuff to them. That's the best thing about them being a snap tight kit is like I did uh, that uh, 57 build uh, for Jonna's dream car. So, you know, that's your dream car with her favorite colors and built that. Granted, that was a snap kit. That was what I could find at the time. So I just built it. Hey, nothing and wrong with a snap kit. Oh, no, that's what I mean. It's like I had them back when I was younger. They sometimes built out nice. Come a long way since they were kids. Oh, yeah, definitely have come a long way. So. That's it. I got my granddaughter that fire, fire truck, bumper truck. Snap, kid. Oh, yeah. Hey, Terry, what's going on, brother? Oh, I was just showing my uh, Star Wars collection off a little bit. I just acquired. So there are a bunch of snap type models and there are actual Ravel models. I mean, maybe I could like stuff like Yoda's head on one of them. And I still have yet to watch the Mandalorian. So maybe I'll just take a day and just like not do anything and just like veg and get caught up. So so, all right. So, we got score from Ollie's, which is pretty good. Um, you know, so also another thing, if everything is still on par, the 27th, there's going to be a special live stream. Terry Churchill and Tracy are coming up and hanging out with me, and we're going to build uh, Jolly Roger. And pretty much, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, unfortunately, I kind of messed up because T is off the weekend after they come up. So it's still in the mix. I'll figure it out. And that's what I was going to text you about last night. Or the Viking. Yes, we got the Viking. So we'll, we'll uh, get together. We'll sit around the bench and have a blast just cracking jokes and Good deal. <laughs> I can't wait. This is going to be great. Yes, the long ship. Well, I do have a card table if we need to extend this table out. So, so we got the mail call. Hey, hon, was there any mail? 
Well, I did check the mail, but nothing was in the mail. I figured you would have checked the mail, and that's what I forgot to tell you when you called earlier is check the mailboxes. When I come home, there wasn't anything in there, so and there should have been. All right. Okay, that's uh, that's fine, Terry. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like I said, so we're we're, we're thinking about twenty seventh. Um, we might possibly do after the new year. I'll have to sit down and uh, look at the calendar because with Tracy coming up, T's working on that weekend of the twenty seventh, so we might push it to the next weekend. So, so the trees can be off, and we can have. A foursome. That probably didn't come out right, but you know, it'll just be fun on a live stream, which she probably won't even be in. But yeah, that's either there. All right, so uh, let's see. Um, I did find that one piece, a photo etch that the carpet monster got. I found it with my foot. I was walking through. Barefoot, um, and I got it stuck in my big toe. Hey, hey, Andrew, what's going on? How you been? So, yeah, needless to say, photo etch does suck. I don't know. It's like kind of toss up between a Lego and I don't know. It's just weird. But I found a piece with my big toe, and I'll tell you, it felt really great. <laughs> but I found it in the carpet. However, I might just make the regular Barrett without the scope on it because when I, I was trying to put the piece and get it in there, it just, yeah, the one piece snap on the center. I was trying to be as gentle with it as I could, but I guess once you've been photo etch once, you leave it alone and don't try to bend it to repair something because then it breaks, so... I'll just build the rest of the Barrett another time. So, it's a, you know, we'll just leave it at that. Um, I, I just won't have a scope on it. I'll have iron sights. So. Uh, yes, I believe that is uh, the one. Andrew, that's the one that we're uh, thinking about. So. Um. Let's see what the hell else. Um, I didn't do anything with the Humvee yet. I didn't do anything with the tank. However, Zombie Land build did make some progress. But before we get into the Zombie Land build, um, we're going to do the unboxing of 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am three and one. Now, this particular model is going to be used in uh, the upcoming. Uh, TV movie build put on by uh, CD scale models and uh, the movie is Hooper. <laughs> yes, Hooper. Yep, I just still send it anyway, so... So that's what we're doing. So even though it looks like I said in my video, it's uh, Black Trans Am. It's not going to be Black Trans Am. So, hey, guys, who has good decals to order online? Looking for some Herbie to Love Bug 6070 version, not the new one. That I honestly have not ordered decals offline. Uh, Gopher Racing, I think, has some, but I'm not sure. So. Oh, yeah, no, that's something that Terry's doing, and we're just going to build it together on live. That's going to be pretty awesome. So, oh, what kind of idea you got? All right. Get the fat fingers in here to open it up. This is a 124 scale. It's for 10 plus. It's called Ravel Muscle. It's a Ravel model kit. 854927. 78 Pontiac Firebird 3 and 1. 
so. Oh, this one's got a piece of cardboard in it. Not much on the bottom, but we got a piece of cardboard, so that might come in handy for something else. Uh, let's see. Let me check the phone, make sure no one's beeping in or anything. All right, we're good. Phone's still on it, sitting on a computer. Oh, the Ghostbuster, that Cadillac, that'd be flipping sweet. Especially being all lit up, Seamus. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that'd be that'd be great. I, I, I would love – ooh. We're going to start with tires because they're loose. I'm kind of liking this so far. We got a couple different sets of tires. We got some nice wide uh, drag tires. And we got our regular tread, non-marked, fairly kind of semi-squishy, semi-hard. Um, they got tread on them, need a little bit of cleanup. Oh, Jet, we just lost Charlie. I just found that Trans Am in my – oh, Nice. 118 scale. That's got to be. You can tell Asia's uh, detail with that. Oh. Nothing. Thank you. Okay, so Seamus, your card hasn't come in yet. I'm hoping it comes in this week. Postal service is kind of fucking everything up, but that's neither here nor there. So, all right, you know what? Try to call back in. So, all right, so we got those tires. So we got our so these are our stocker tires. So we got four of those. And you also get a set of the drag slicks, which is pretty cool. So we've got that. Those are our tires. Those were loose. All right, so let's get to our trees. Quiet, cat. That would be awesome to see that all lit up, that Cadillac that they had in the Ghostbusters, Ghostbuster ambulance. All right, so, so far, this kit doesn't look too bad. Here's a body. Too small. Mold lines here, no big deal. Hit that with some sandpaper. So far, I haven't really come across any major flash. I'll have to uh, put the T-tops in and fill that in and make it a hard top or cut some styrene to fill in there. Is option for the Herbie decals. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, I'll probably get a lot of stuff after Christmas, and I'm hoping everyone else's stuff, especially their Christmas cards I mailed out, you know, get there. So... Um, here's a bucket. It's a regular kind of plain Jane bucket. It's just one piece, so shouldn't be too bad. I may try to frock the interior, possibly. Um, we got the engine blocks so far. That doesn't look too bad as far as flash. I mean, these pieces don't look too bad. That looks like a carburetor. Wheel end, I got to probably do something about a pointer. You got your differential, dashboard, intake. Uh, it's got to be some sort of ram air. You just got the large scale. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I was saying. <laughs> that, that'd be all awesome. The wit magic, the lighting magic that Seamus does. Oh, my God. So, going to be fun to watch a movie, no girl clothes except 48-hour ones. That's actually a pretty good idea. You know, I mean, I got them snap-tight kits, which I might, uh, for uh, Beach, Bum, Beach Bum Model Garage. And on the 26th, a 48, 72-hour, kind of like to close out the end of the year. He's doing a group build, um, pretty much can build anything. So we got the hood. Looks like we got a roll bar, which 
might be nice to put in. So far, there is not really a lot of flash fire extinguisher. So. And the best part about a snapper is you can always just throw a good coat of paint on it and work with that. So we got the main body here or main frame. Doesn't look too bad. Details, not super great. So should go together decent. Exhaust. Steering wheel. So far, I haven't really seen a lot of flash. Oh, it looks like it might even have a CB in it. Maybe. I'll see what that is. Mirrors. Radiator. So there's the rest of the rear axle sitting there. Radiator hose. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I hear you there. Oh, we get two hoods. Oh, shit. Oh, we get two hoods. Oh, shit. One for the shaker, one for the cowl. Oh, damn. That's pretty cool. Of course, we got our Firebird front clip. Part of the Ram Air. Exhaust header, seats. They don't look like too bad. Now I just got to find the color red that it is. I want to say it's like... I almost want to say it's like Chevy orange, but it's not Chevy orange. It's I'll find the right paint for it, but this ought to be pretty uh, decent. So as far as going to bed, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of parts, parts, and this kit should build up nice and quick. So I'm definitely excited. And like I said, I'm impressed with the amount of flash I mean, this kit just needs a little bit of clean up with some mold lines. Not even really a lot, just a little bit. Like here on the deck lid. Long to, I mean, it's really clean. So there's the main pieces. Now, of course, we got our glass. Looks pretty good. Not that many pieces. We got our chrome pieces. These ones look all right. They'll probably get stripped down and some of them might get stripped and painted. Like paint, paint. And uh, so we got the valve covers. These look like header, side pipes. Of course, your headlight buckets, intake. Oh, that's beautiful. You get two sets of drag wheels. Oh, these will definitely be going in a different kit. Oh, hell yeah. So you get two sets of different wheels. You get the honeycomb as well as the center line. The top of your carbs or your dual carb. You got the little antenna right there. So, so far, this doesn't seem like that bad of a kit. I'm really impressed. Uh, I'm really impressed with it so far, anyway. Now we get to our directions. And... Of course, their Ravel instructions, they give you the little bit of history. Let me read this, explains about the assembly, tells you the color that you need, all the different. Yes, it does have a CB radio. Hell yeah. That's what I thought. That'll be great. So now the only thing I've got to fabricate. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to, John. I just. You know, like I said, when I do an unboxing, I'm trying to do a good thorough unboxing. I mean, the instructions are Ravel. They're, uh, you know, you got your left tail light, right tail light, body. Shows where to paint, what color to paint. Decal placement. You got stock. Of course, it did the black Trans Am. <laughs> and then you got the race one with the 78 or... You got that style. You got the one on the bottom with the stripes, which looks kind of cool. I like that one. 
especially with the carb sticking up out of the hood. And then you got the other one with the shaker hood scoop. The street and the race. So well, let's see what the decal sheet looks like. <laughs> so that part, oh, no shit. This one does give you legit Smokey and the Bandit, Georgia Plate, and Band 1 right there. Knew it. Um, it's a good sheet. Gives you the racing decals. So this decal sheet is pretty cool. You could use it like if you bought another one, you could put them on other ones, or if you had another Pontiac, or you want to do something different. But I got a Jersey plate, PA plate, and a Georgia plate. So all depends on what state you want to do. And I don't know what that little rub mark is, but it's got two little skid marks or something. So, I mean, shit. So this is getting built as the Hooper, not – the bandit so <laughs> so that's what it's getting billed as is hooper granted it's another burt reynolds movie has sally fields in it it's even got uh terry bradshaw uh string fellow hawk it's yeah it's <laughs> it's awesome at least they put the bandit decals you know the the georgia plate and you know, the Jordan plate right there, and they got front plate and a back plate. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'll probably end up doing that, but so that was the unboxing of the uh, Ravel Firebird three in one uh, Firebird kit, which this particular kit is going to be the Hooper build. Oh, a gumball rally? Damn. Uh, even though it was something else, it was a cannonball run. That's always a good one, too. Yes. You know, I was almost thinking about that, too. Like, because I was thinking, it was like White Lightning. I got to find that car that he drove. But I could probably Google it. And so there we go. Oh, I forgot to put the glass in there. Oh, I can do a quick Google search on that, and we can go from there. All right, so we got so we got that. It's a nice kit. I haven't put it together, but, I mean, it looks nice. Yes, the Cannonball Run Lambo. Oh, shit, what the hell was that? Oh, that's right. My phone's sitting here on the computer. Um, it looks like we got a text message. Ah, beautiful. Okay. So what did Terry say? All right. So I got pictures of the ship that we're going to be building. Yes, I was thinking of tits. I love the part where they get pulled over and they got the female cop in Texas. Oh, I hope you're digging for your license in there, hot pants. That was fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a fun build, especially being wood and everything. Hell, yeah. Yeah, the gumball rally, too. It's like, I'm trying to think. There's another movie. Um, shit. Not gone in 60 seconds. Damn it, now I'm going to have to find it. It's uh, Gumball Run was good. Death Race, the original. The original Death Race. There's one, too. Hiroshima has it. Nice. Um, not Hater, Gator. Movie. All right, uh, come on. Oh, dun, 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 dun. All 
Gator's car. There we go. Let's go that route. Oh, you already, yeah, beat me to it. Okay. So I'll find the old school 78 Monte Carlo kit. So. White Lightning Chase Clip. All right, come on. Yeah. So, movie car. Images. White Lightning, 71 Ford Custom 500. Pretty sure that's what it is. Or 71 Ford LTD. Burt Reynolds in the movie White Lightning. Yes, Death Race, the original. Yes, the original one. Because that one had, uh, I think it actually had Sylvester Stallone in it. Death Race, 2000. Yeah, 1975. The bull car. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 1975. Death Race uh, 2000. There it is. Yes. Wow. Frankenstein Corvette. Fireball. I don't want the new one. I want the original. Don't put them thing. Shell of that mad movie cars, Death Race 2000. Shit, yeah. David Carey. That's just sick, the bull car. All right, hey, that's cool. I'll check out your uh, Christmas stream. Uh, beautiful. We'll check it out. So we got that. Maybe that's something we could do, too, is uh, – um, oh, yeah, Adrian Barrow, young. Um, hey, that's cool. Well, shit, go over and check out uh, Cole's uh, Christmas video is out. I have to go check a look. Plus, I'm not going to lie, I have been a little behind. I've been trying to catch up on everybody's videos. So, if, you know, I, I've been trying. So. Yeah, that's right. The one with all the radioactive paint and a body kit, and he comes over, hits speed bump, and it all blows apart when he goes off road. Yep, that's true. <laughs> that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad. Uh... So, all right. So we do have some progress on the Escalade for Zombie Hunt. It'd be a one twelve kit. Ooh. Hell yeah. So we definitely got a lot of good ideas for some like movie builds coming up and whatnot. So yeah, like this one, I was going to run, you know, big pipes out of the hood. I thought about it. I'm like, no, I'm going to try to make it look like the movie truck a little bit, even though I already messed up. The other one had like a gray interior. I painted the interior black, but eh. so whatever. I still got to make my mount for the plow. I'm only going to put one light in engines all in. So it's there. Had a little bit of a trouble. I don't know what the hell's going on here. But I got a nice little gap, but I could probably maybe do something a little different with that. I don't know if this didn't line up right, but so I got to put taillights in. Um, the wheels, everything is in there. Like I said, it's not getting super done, but yeah, 
I know it, it's an Escalade, but it's, ah, you know, I didn't realize, but I mean, I could maybe try to maybe like enclose this, but the only thing is with enclosing it, but yeah, the sad part is I'm just going to put a plow on the front of it, which I've already got the plow. I just got to work on the mount and I'm going to paint a big old three on the side of the door and do just a little bit of touch up here and there. And there's going to be the zombie land build from uh, the movie zombie land, the original, the 2007 zombie land, I believe it is or 2007, 2008. So wasn't bad. Like I said, I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I might paint them. I realize that I still got to paint them yet, but that's, I can still do that too. I can still do that. I got styrene the other day and I can build a 50. So, so like I said, this is just basically from the movie zombie land. That's making progress. Um, I got my cardboard set up for the base for the diorama. It's just weird. Oh yeah, no, it's. I could probably if I if I had an avalanche, I could probably swap out because I know a lot of guys. They'll take the Tahoe, get the Escalade front clip, and put it on there. Change out the tail lights, and then they'll have an Escalade. But all it is really just a Chevy Tahoe that's been dressed up. So, so I mean that's kind of where that is. Uh, so I'm gonna work on. Uh, doing the base i gotta figure out where the hell i put my brick wall so i'm gonna take this probably put a nice german scene yeah i can do that too i got flat styrene I got a piece right here that i can uh that i can use to enclose it so so for the Hetzer, I want to make a little bit of a thing here. I got some pieces for a wall, and uh, I'm going to put uh, basically print out. Um, I still haven't done any of the weathering on it yet, at least on the winter camo. So it's going to sit like here at like an angle. And I'm going to have like brick wall, like kind of knocked down a little bit. And it's basically going to be a diorama. Like I said, I'm going to cheat on the background. I'm going to take a piece of A4 plain printer paper, print out like a blown up building German scene and uh, put that on the back. And then I'll probably might throw a little bit of glue or adhesive with a little bit of rock, some rubble, make some painting and you know so it'll sit here kind of like this like it's in a diorama but what i might do is i might take this once it's done and maybe get a piece of wood and make it that way so i still got to figure out what scene i got like three four different pictures i downloaded offline so how i want to do it i went and bought the brick wall to do it i got the tracks um finished um weathered now i just gotta finish doing the winter weather which we might possibly do that tonight so <laughs> yeah no shit especially if he flipped it six times yeah well it's like it's probably and you know sometimes i I wonder, it's like weird how like that karma shit works. You know, it's like you sit there, you bitch and moan and complain about a vehicle and then it does something or you're bitching about it and then it does something. So it's like you hate the vehicle, it hates you back. I don't know. It's, and especially rolling in six times, yeah, I'm glad he's still alive because and, you know, not going to lie, not for nothing. I know it's like 50-50 with a seatbelt, but the seatbelt is one of the things that save my life in that rollover not gonna lie so but it was also like a four point like over the shoulder cross 
you know, so it was a four point harness basically. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about that. Um, I do have more shop cards. Um, I know I sent Christmas cards out if I had your address. I have more shop cards. I forgot to put Rick's information um, in the thing because I know Rick Zinnick of, uh, you know, Rick Zinnick's Skeletal Remains. Um, he's got cards too, so put it out. Um, I've still got, like I said, some cards left, so I got quite a bit left and then basically once I get low enough, I'm going to get rid of, well, these cards won't no longer be available now. Just get my more common cards, which I already have the common card made. I just have to get it printed is all. So put the tool away here. Probably have it in the right way. So yeah, yeah. So, Ooh, excuse me. So, like I said, it's we got that cutoff tool. We got that. Oh, that's right. There's something else I picked up too. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I mean, you know what the sad part is? The army trains you. They put you in this thing called a heat trainer, Humvee egress rollover trainer. A T I don't know. Basically it's like rollover training. So you're in full kit. They put you inside a mocked up Humvee. So think of like a Humvee body mounted on like a skewer and there's big ass chains on each side and there's a big ass control box. And there's some guy standing in front of it, sitting there with a little switch. It's almost like uh, an amusement park ride, like a carny. He's just sitting there messing around and you Nothing really works, but I mean, they do have some like speakers in there for sound effects, and uh, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like you're sitting there, and then you're going, you're going, and then it's like, oh shit, you realize the truck's actually going up past, and then you got to tell everybody and like yell, roll over, roll over, roll over, which probably means like that's the nicer way to say it, or it's like, holy shit, grab a hold of something, we're fucking going over, holy shit, grab the gunner. That's pretty much kind of how it is real life, but that's what they tell you is basically let everyone know that you're going to be rolling over if they kind of already, well, if they're not paying attention, but it's one of them things, but yes, exactly. Ludicrous speed. No. <laughs> Spaceballs, one is gone. Plaid. <laughs> oh, shit. So anyway, while I was out and about, I, uh, found this book paid a dollar for it it's called how it works trucks i got it for my niece i got it for my niece lola so this said this edition is printed in 1995 for shooting star press aladdin books 1990 created and produced by aladdin books 28 percy street london WIP 9FF. So I wonder if there's going to be a retardus somewhere and some funny guy running around with a screwdriver trying to fuck shit up. So it's on Percy Street or Percy Street. Maybe that's where Harry Potter hangs out. I don't know. Um, that I can handle. It's the upside down canoe in the. Yeah. Yeah, that that right there. That's why I never became uh, like an aircraft mechanic. Because not saying that I don't trust my work. It's just the fact that there ain't no place to put her down if you have a problem. It's just like, oh, hey, we're up here in the air. Oh, guess what? Let me get out and check that. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I'd rather be kind of on the ground where I can uh, fix stuff. <laughs> Uh, no, that is true. I am not LeVar Burton, but that is hilarious because I don't have a rainbow and well, you know, because I'm not kidding. So, um, yeah, so we'll not go there. Um, but it says it's printed in Belgium, 
And I know, and it's actually got a lot of pretty cool stuff. Um, it explains everything, fuel tank transmission, got a lot of cab overs, got that old school Pete 359 P. And then you got, uh, oh yeah, there you go. Square body Chevy. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then we got plant transportation for hire due. 061, which that's definitely an overseas number. 061, I want to say it's either Australia or somewhere overseas. And then they got rigid truck cab over, goes over to diesel engine. Yeah, I mean, at least with a helicopter, you got a rotor to kind of maybe go, but with jets, it's, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it goes over a different amount. It tells you about leaf springs and suspensions and brakes and the driver's cabin. Oh, yeah. Then you get the sleeper right there in the back. Then you get them lot lizards and shit. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Ross, I don't even know about that. Oh, there you go. There's an old cab over, uh, cab over Pete wrecker. Fucking up to another Peterbilt wrecker. Oh, shit, yeah. So I think the, I think my niece uh, Lola will get a kick out of this book. Or talk about loading up. Oh yeah, that's definitely a cab over. There's a guy with a crane running some logs. Oh yeah, and some of these trucks are definitely over. Oh, big. Uh, I want to say it's all Australian long train, maybe. Yeah, Australian road trains. There you go. That's some serious fucking trucking right there. Back all them up and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Those are good. German military. Yeah, they got some Mercedes Benz and some other stuff. So, yeah. That's true. You could dress up, yeah, with the new ones. Ed. Oh yeah, big ass Terra tracks. Oh yeah, here we go. Sporting trucks. Well, that's off road specials. Yeah, here we go. Our old school Sanya Scania racing shit. Yeah, and then you got a wheelie lorry sitting there, and then of course you got that badass square body sitting up there like 84 square body lifted with the big old monster fucking tires on it god you gotta love them square bodies uh oh yeah and uh it's not quite grandpa but i know um jerry over there is building that grandpa truck that kind of almost looks like it with different sides i know it's not but this is a lorry because it's overseas so So, yeah, no, this is just, it gives you some different stuff. And you know what? I found this book of knowledge for a buck. So, oh, hell yeah, the MV8s are, are nasty. There was a, shit, I can't remember the guy's name, but it was an outlaw who did a lot of work with them, Scania V8s. And I seen a couple of them while I was in Germany, while I was stationed there. I'll tell you, those are some getting motherfuckers. No shit. They, they will shit and get, especially them V8s. Ooh, they they do have some nasty, nasty power to them. Um, let's see. So we did that. We did that. We went over tools. Um, let's see. What else? What are we gonna work on? Um, hmm. well, I've got that foos build I could work on. Yeah, I could probably do that. Oh, yeah, the dog's balls, yeah. Uh, who the hell was it? It was, uh, outlaw, it was some outlaw trucker out there. Granted, he's passed now, but he's got some nasty trucks. No, I haven't. I've watched it on TV. I've seen the truck racing on TV. I've never actually gone to a track, sat down, and watched them race, but I'm pretty sure that it's uh, – pretty badass i mean when you're sitting there taking trucks and just racing them that's yeah kind of like almost in the opening uh 
opening there in the movie Smoking the Bandit where they're running them old uh but they're running them old trucks around that track, just racing, just getting her for all it's worth. You know, that's so anyway, I'm pretty sure my niece will like that book. So I'll give her some idea and then she can even share it with her older sister. But you know, figure give my niece Lola who's a little bit more uh boyish per se. Uh, she's gonna be the one beating up like my older niece's boyfriends when they get stupid. So she's, she's that type. She's fearless. She will definitely take my shit training when she gets a little older. So which would be a special high intensity training or shit for sure. So. All right. Set that down there. All right, uh, let's see. Maybe we'll do something a little different. I got multiple projects going on here, but yeah, what's another project to start? You know what? Let's work on this one tonight. Just because I know I was going to say something about getting it done for Christmas, but we're going to work on the fuss for. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> pretty much, pretty much there, John, pretty much. So I don't know how much of this will actually get accomplished, but this is uh, Tracy's, uh, I'm guessing dream truck because it's a 50s Ford F100, nice curvy body. I've already got the paint. I already got the two-tone scheme laid out for it. So I just got to figure out how kind of some of it goes together and go from there. So, oh, yeah, she's already kind of fearless as it is. So she, her parents definitely going to have her uh, hands full. So, yeah, I know they already do, so. What we got for a decal sheet? I'm trying to remember if I did this one or not. When you focus to read, I thank you for <laughs> that. Would that wouldn't surprise me? I mean, my computer's probably running maybe a little rough, not as fast, but so we got the Foos decal sheet here. Doesn't look too bad, so. Yeah, no, I seen that in Palace, Seamus, and that was really nice. I really liked the color and how that come out. That was sharp. So it was kind of comical because I believe it was uh, Jerry or Woody was working on this particular kit. Actually, I think two or three guys have been working on this kit. And then I went down to visit uh, Terry and Tracy, and we got to talking. And I was like – well, son of a bitch, this would be the perfect kit to build for Tracy's dream truck. So, yeah, that, that color and everything it ties into it is just phenomenal, Seamus. It just, it looked good. And especially with it being lit up, it just magnifique. I've got to get caught up on everybody's. I got to get caught up on everybody's videos. I got too much shit going on between snowmobiles, helping the old man, trying to just get shit around here done, physical therapy. Yeah, Dylan's. Oh my God. He's. I'm telling you right now, Dylan has some amazing talent. And. I don't know if he's in New York City or if he's in Binghamton, but I'll tell you, that kid does some amazing work. All right. They're really small lights. I'm going to lose them. So they're going back in the bag. So let's see what we got. We got our axles. We got our tires. We got our chrome blingies. So, 
Oh, I'm sure they're screaming around down there. I mean, they're, uh, you know, going around up here, too. I had some uh, lady come over, and she knocked on the back door. I don't know why, but apparently that's where my sleds were. But she's like, oh, well, we've seen trucks coming into this trailer park. So, uh, you know, uh, someone was riding through other people's yards over there on Oak Drive. I'm like, have you been over there on Oak Drive? I'm like. Uh, no lady, I don't go over that way because I'm smart and I run right out the back of a trailer park and I go over about two, three fields, cut across and, you know, it's just like, no, I'm not that stupid to run through a complex like that. That's why I go out the back. So... Oh, that sounds like, yeah, 32 Ford Hot Rod. Yeah, Stacy David, the guy who did trucks. All right, so we're going to start with the easy part. We're going to start with the wheels because, well, I feel like it because it's easy. and We're just sitting here talking and enjoying the camaraderie of manipulating styrene and um. I did show the um, M88 kit, right? I did show that on the last uh, on the last live stream. I showed it, so I got to get with you, Andrew, and whoever else was uh, talking about the um, doing a recovery build. So I think that'd be pretty pretty awesome, and I got to get another. I got to get a hemp kit so I can build a wrecker. So I have a few builds I need to finish. 32 Tomcat. Ooh, yeah. I, I know you got that uh, other one, Seamus, at uh, A10. That's going to be a phenomenal build. I, I'm definitely looking forward to that A10. That's going to be sick. So we're going to nip some of the parts here and maybe, well, I guess I did. I got a little, uh, I got a little with my strong hand. Revel, but yeah, exactly. Like same thing. You're still trying to uh, do with, uh, with the A10. So, yeah, I, I kind of messed up my nippers the other night. I kind of went a little strong hand on them, and they don't necessarily close all the way anymore. So, you know, I mean, not that it's a big deal. I mean, I think I paid a couple bucks for them at Tractor Supply, but, eh, minor detail. <laughs> so, I mean, it wasn't three pack I believe so I think if I look I've got an actual set of real real nippers that I had when I worked at uh, Tussie Plastics I'll have to go look and see if I can find them so yeah shit yeah the Harrier is cool I like how it can like sit there and just like hover it's just badass that it can do that make sure that's smooth figure it out but yeah so we're working on the foos tonight um i think thursday going to do a review on the a10 tomorrow oh Yeah, I would definitely wait until next year to build it there, Shamey, because I seen when you got that kit and you like had the big ass box to get it. That kit was huge. It was like a Billy Fusillo sale. It was huge. So. So yeah. Looking looking forward to doing a lot of stuff in 21. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> well, unfortunately, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I, I kind of finally did something that I'm going to end up. Well, it'll make up for some other stuff, but but unfortunately, I got to wait till Thursday to pick it up. That's the only bitch. So, but it'll be great. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to uh, go back there, Harbor Freight, and get some, John. Uh, mm, wow. Yeah, it's all in the India. Hmm, interesting. Well, no, actually, it's something that's been – I've been being hounded on for about the last five years, but we'll just leave it at that. So, got it. Oh, shit. Bench is kind of full right now. Oh, shit. Ernie got me a message. He's got a full bench going on. There's a – Copy uh, Ernie's bench right now. He's got his GFR truck, and it looks like, I want to say, a 32 maybe, or the Eliminator kit from ZZ Top. So, <laughs> But anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty awesome, Ernie. Oh, just as an FYI, um, Matt over at Model Mine 72 did get the Ghetto Gondola. It is there. Um, I didn't get a chance to see the video yet, but he has um, the video of the Ghetto Gondola and the Sleeper Detroit specials. So I'm going to check that out after the live stream and try to maybe get caught up on some videos. But right now we're just kind of doing a little bit of work on uh, – the uh, Foos truck, which, like I said, is getting built for Tracy. So I might not have it done by Christmas, but at the same time, so. Oh, nice. Okay, Ernie, you did see the video? Sweet. I still got to go check it out, so. I mean, don't spoil it for me either, but. But, yeah, the, the ghetto gondola finally made it down there. So we'll see how well it goes and was well-sacrificed model. So, <laughs> SR-72 sitting in my backyard. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome, Shane. Yeah, this is great. You know, I appreciate, like I said before, Y'all coming down to hang out with me on a Monday and just like bullshit, get caught up. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to stay caught up on everybody's stuff, but I really do honestly have a lot of stuff going on. I'm not trying to what should I say? Like I'm trying to still keep the content fresh, but so I'm sure this is supposed to go on. You just feel like they stretch over, so We'll get it in there one way or another. Rubber band tires. Oh, hell yeah. So, all right. This has got metal axles in it. So, rubber bandy tires. Gee, many Christmas. These some bitches are underinflated. Look at the creep in between there. Holy shit. These things are way underinflated. You're riding on the sidewalls. You ain't even riding on the tread. Jesus. Or now, unless I put it in the wrong one. Oh, it's going to be the same size. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I, uh, no, that's a big fat one. That's a big fat one. No, that's a big fat one. That should be the same size. Oh, maybe I did put the wrong one. Maybe that's why it's under inflated because I, Well, like I said, it's we, we, we've all got stuff kind of going on in life, and you know, it sometimes it is hard to uh, do it. Like, I know summertime is going to be rough for me because I'm normally out on a mo motorcycle in the summertime, so that's uh, how everything normally works in my world, 
you know, it's like summertime, it's a motorcycle, wintertime, it's a snowmobile, and it's just, that's the way life goes. So, uh, this looks like a fat tire, fat tire. Uh, let's see, is that, that's a skinnier one, skinnier one. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, everyone's got different hobbies, different projects. And, you know, it was a lot easier. Uh, I'm not going to lie. When I was in a wheelchair, it was a lot easier to do this because I was way active. And then it was like a couple of months I sat in a wheelchair. It just gave me something to do to keep my mind from going other bad places. It's very dark. So, um, you know, and I'm glad that this modeling is something that is, you know, kind of helped me out a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. But at the same time, it's, you know, like I said, it's, I got other stuff done. I try to do what I can, but I still got, you know, I got that Humvee. I got the tank. I did make progress on uh, zombie land build. So it's, you know, like I said, we're making progress, making slow progress, but Rome wasn't built in a day. And, you know, I mean, unless you got that kind of time to just, oh, son of a bitch. Damn you, Hulu. All right. Uh, Chris, actually, well, let's see if they got Yule Log. There we go. We'll do the Yule Log. There it is. Yes. Uh, new screenshots. What do we got? Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, come on. Work with me here. Yes. Edit. It. It's free from what I can tell. So we're going to do the Yule Log. <laughs> Uh, Seamus, I got you. Okay. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Speaking of that bike build, Seamus, I have a 75 Honda CB750 sitting in the basement of the garage of my aunt's house with no paperwork. And if you go back and look at that 1250 video, uh, the Yamaha, that red tank, that is a fuel tank off that 75 uh, that I have. So... Come on. Oh. All right. We got a Yule log going now. There it is. Oh, are you kidding me? And we got the music in the background. But anyway, we got fire on the TV, also known as the Yule log. Yeah, no, I still haven't found that either. I mean, I found it, but it's like sold out or they want stupid money for it. And oh, Black Dog has that conversion kit. I'll have to check them out. Believe me, I my uh, I'll have to get pictures of it. Uh, my friend Owen. His brother, Randy, has a Snowhawk 600. This thing is fucking crazy. It's a 650 snowmobile, basically, but it's a dirt bike. It's got a big-ass white ski in the front and a, and a track on the back. I can't remember what year it is, but it's, like, crazy. Yes, yeah, at my aunt's house. It's, I'll, I'll get pictures of it. It's not in great shape, but I have no paperwork on it, so... You do not think. <laughs> oh, I know. I definitely got quite a bit to do. That's why I'm trying to have a full bench. Uh, oh, I made progress. Yay. Tires are done for the foos thing. Yay. That's one of the easier parts. So now, going through trying to find all the body lines and, or what they call the molding lines. So... Yep. 
So, and then work on sanding the molding lines, which I'll have to look and see where all my sandpaper is. And probably should wait to nip this. But I'm just going to nip it anyway. Oh, that is kind of flexible. We should have probably left that in there. Oh, well, we're just going to send it anyway. 1975 Honda CB750 uh, at the Super Sport. Kickstart and electric start. Um, nice. Hey, you know what? That like I said, as far as that bike group build, what whatever whatever bike, just as long as it's over five hundred cc, it's cool. And I was thinking you'd probably go with that uh, police bike. Due to the simple fact that it has lights on it and being a police bike, so it would be all lit up, and that'd definitely be right up your alley, Seamus. Oh, yay. Love, Love you. you. So, okay, T's got the pussy and going to bed. Actually, it's Gigi, so, you know. Really sorry, <laughs> yeah well like i said th this is an easy like i said group build it's just you know go into september but i mean it'll probably be like january you know like i said I, i'm not hard on a deadline it's a i mean it has no paperwork i'll, I'll get you some pictures john um shit i'll uh yeah, I'll get you some pictures, John. And like I said, I mean, I would sell it. I mean, I it did run a couple of years ago. The guy who I had bought it from was supposed to get me the paperwork, and I do have a I do have a seat for it, but it doesn't have a seat and stuff like that. So yeah, actually, I kind of had two pussies close to my face. Ooh. <laughs> Oh shit. So um yeah, actually it would be. Um yeah, it'd be interesting, you know, like I said, it has no paperwork. Part of my thing was I was gonna do the cafe racer kind of like everybody does, you know, be like that guy that just builds into a cafe. But I mean, they do build the awesome cafe racers. <laughs> True story, Andrew. <laughs> True story. True story. All right. Let's see. This looks all right. Might have to have a little bit of sandpaper, maybe. Just put sand some of this. I don't know why I don't think I'm doing it this way. But... All right. That was just crack a little thing. A little bit of flash there. A little bit of flash there. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not. So anyway, I actually finally broke down and actually bought her a fucking ring. She's only been nagging my ass for five fucking years. Ooh, there you go. That would actually be a good uh that would actually be a good candidate for a bobber over a cafe. Well, the other thing was my buddy Owen was saying, well, shit, since you ain't got no paperwork for it, throw some knobby tires on it, take all the electrical shit off it, and, uh, you know, take all the electrical shit off it and make it a field bike. And I'm like, man, that would be a nasty field bike. This was over the summer, kind of before my accident, we were talking about this. But that was, like, kind of my thing, so... No, not that far. And, and basically in her mind, we have been married five years, but it's, I don't know. I look at it a little differently, but yeah. So I uh, spent a little bit more money than I wanted to. I mean, I did buy a bunch of model kits, but I've also spent a little bit more money on some other stuff, which I don't know why. It's like, why do women want jewelry all the fucking time? Bought her a fucking truck, almost twenty thousand dollar truck. 
And I mean, that's like way better than a diamond, in my opinion. That's like so much better than a diamond. But, you know, because we have been living together. I mean, it's been one of them things. I mean, I don't know. But I did at least get her a ring. And I spent way more money on my price range. I mean, I am a cheap fuck, so. Oh, that's fucking cool. A CB360. I used to have one, um, and I ended up selling it to a kid. Um, he was looking for a motorcycle. It was weird. We were standing at the DMV, and I kind of overheard a little bit of his thing, and um, I didn't have that bike very long. I basically just turned around, did a little bit of work to it, and flipped it, so... <laughs> oh no that let's just say that's uh no that that's definitely not gonna happen because that factory's been cut burned shut down and uh she'll be wanting kitties next huh? yeah no it's uh so i mean <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, no, thank you, Tracy. I or Terry, I appreciate it. Thank you. Cause yeah. So we'll just leave it at that. And it's not necessarily wedding bells, it's just something. So it's it's something nice, something that she's been wanting for a while. So I finally broke down and spent the money and and did it. So why not? Part of it, part of it got a little bit more intense pretty much after my accident and all the bullshit she had to endure over the summer. So, so yeah, it was a it was a good time. So, so you guys know and uh... <laughs> no, no, actually, as far. as I know I do not have any kids I mean I do have a little stint in Germany where I was kind of wild uh, I was married for a while and before I was married I was a little bit of a player but that's that whole army thing so oh no you're you're fine Seamus you, believe me it takes a lot to offend me you didn't you didn't offend me by no means so <laughs> oh my god it's just oh yeah no that's what I mean it's just I get it it's I, I'm not worried about it like I said I have I have a big ass and broad shoulders so it's <laughs> I have a big ass and uh, broad shoulders but also at the same time I don't know if I could really handle a mini me running around I already know what I am and how crazy I am. I can only imagine another one of me. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, Chance, if I have an offended Cliff, are you? <laughs> oh yeah, no. It it takes a lot to offend me. Normally, normally I'm the one offending people, which is weird. Yeah, I, I am an equal opportunity offender. I mean, for the longest time, and if you get bored, I know it's animated, but you should check out Foamy the Squirrel. Now, I used to watch this guy before I went to Iraq, and it was hilarious. He's been around for a long time. I guess he does like a podcast now. It's something else, but I normally watch it for Foamy the Squirrel. Foamy the Squirrel reminds me a lot of – myself and he does he, he brings and hits home a lot of different points of a lot of people yeah you should just check him out <laughs> holy shit i wow i could take over a small country with five mini me's 
<laughs> Holy shit, that'd be great. It'd be Cliff Island taking over uh taking over a third world shithole country. Oh nice. Yes. Very nice, Terry. Very nice. I think I'll leave this hole until after I clean it. So now I gotta figure out what the hell I do with my sandpaper. I probably put it in here. Put the Walmart drawers anyway. Oh, oh, that's a little too rough. So we're going over on something like a 400 grit, 320, 400. I guess that's uh, like a good grit for doing like body lines and so. <laughs> no, actually, it probably couldn't. Hey, Taylor, what's going on? Glad you could make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That would be great. Oh, that would be so awesome. Holy hell. God help the world. I, I have all sorts of uh, – I probably have all sorts of people out there just trying to do, like, genetic experiments on me and all sorts of stuff. I should have probably knocked these off with a – figured it out with a paint or a marker, but we're just going to go over them. Just because – this kid's not too bad. So the two-tone we're going with, we're going with a classic two-tone. So I'll get the finger truck now. Let's see. We got this hood here. So, so these fenders right here, the body and I think I might do just a white top just because so the fenders are going to be like the dark green or the Neptune green and then the body is going to be rest so it's going to be the darker green on the fenders so on there and then on the box and I've got the paint sitting over there to spray it down and the interior is probably going to be white. So, hey, hey, Chris, glad you can make it. Uh, let's see. That's good. Glad you could do it. You know, hey, thanks for stopping by. I uh, put out about the uh, movie build, and I unboxed uh, the 78 Firebird. So we did that. Um, let's see. All right, I will check that out, Ernie, and get on that right now. Hey, Ed, what's going on? Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. Oh, that's awesome. That 76 step side. I got that same one, and I'm doing for that Project Red Dawn. So the uh, Project Red Dawn is basically the big star that I like for, you know, I mean – now with Hollywood actors, it's all about the cars. So, sweet. Awesome, Ed. Glad you got the card, and whoever got cards, glad, hopefully they got there. Oh, the Virago 1000. So, this is Ernie's uh, entry into the bike build. So, that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing that built up because I got the girlfriend, the Virago 250, and – Maybe she'll upgrade to something like that later on. Um, let's see. And we got Taylor about Project Red Dawn. That's something I'm working on. So I'm doing a build Diecast Mafia. And a Diecast Mafia, um, I'm doing a movie group build, and it's going to be for the movie uh, Red Dawn. So 
Um, but for my re- project Red Dawn, I was going to build a truck and then do the diorama. But I'm going to have the guys like that scene where they're like pissing in the radiator and stuff like that, try to get. So I'm going to do that as like the diorama, but I might be reaching out to possibly Ernie or somebody who could probably I'll get some measurements and make some figurines. So, you know, I can actually get the figurines kind of right. Like standing there, I want to kind of do it like a diorama type just because that'd be pretty cool um, to have that like uh, and diorama. Um, let's see what else. Um, let's see, we got that. Like Chris, all right, Ed's in the house, so, yeah, and I got my uh, 2004 Yamaha VMAX, which I'll do my own entry video for a group build, um, so, good deal, glad you got the cars. Uh, the scale of, let's see. The hell is the scale? All right. Oh, there it is. Messages. Boom. The Virago by uh, Tamiya is a one twelve scale. Number forty four. So there we go. That's the Tamiya kit. That Ernie did is the Virago XV1000. All right. So, so yeah, I think I explained how I'm doing the two tone. So, the hood's going to be the lighter blue, body's going to be lighter blue, and the fenders and the lower, like, so basically, it's going to be from the hood down is all going to be the darker green, and it's going to be the lighter green from the hood with the body, and then I might just make it like a white top, so that'll work pretty decent. So, oh, door cards, and I'm not sure what interior. I think a white interior might be all right. So, all right, we'll be here. So, let's see. Hey, that's all right. Like I said, get out whenever you get the Christmas card, you know. It's, uh, if I had your address, you got in a card. Um, I mean, I could try uh, – oh, yeah, definitely flipped prime rib. That sounds good. I got a big ass prime rib sitting in my refrigerator right now. So that's kind of for Christmas, but, uh, you know, uh, let's see. It must be close to finish. Yeah. Really? I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out and see where, where that is. Um, so here's the frame. This looks pretty solid. So this will get painted probably all black. This whole tree might get painted just black. Boy, that's really thin for that rack and pinion. Holy shit. Wow, that's thin. All right. Oh, it does come with a top. So, so yeah, I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably just leave that and then, like, leave the top white just to give it that. Yeah, I know. I just seen it. I just bought it. I'm building this for uh, Tracy, Terry's wife. This is like her dream truck, like a 50s Ford pickup. And the two colors on the last live stream, the Neptune green and the sky haze blue are going to be like the two-tone. So, like I said, I'm going to do the darker green and then like the blue, and it's going to tie in really nice. So, um. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're working on. Um, I think I might just do a white interior. 
or do like a two tone interior, especially on the seats. So, so that's what we're working on right now. I know the weather's been kind of shitty for paint, but I still got to work on that. I've got some of my box built. I just got to do some finishing touches on it. Yeah, let's scrape that out. So. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh, hell yeah. Definitely. I, I got to get caught up on everybody's videos and seeing what they're, what they're building. Um, I don't know. It's like weird. Like sometimes it's like, I'll sit there, I'll click and there's like no video posted and I'll come back like a couple hours later and the video will be like posted. I'm like, well, what the hell? It's like, there's a little blue dot there and that's what I kind of look for. But sometimes, I don't know, YouTube is kind of funny and especially with their algorithms. Uh, so I noticed even myself, wow, this is really plain Jane dash right here, but that's all right. That means it'll build up nice. So yeah. Definitely going to do the two-tone interior, so it'll be white and probably the darker blue. I will pay off in the end and can relax. I built that. Fuck yeah. That's the only way to do it. But it's the only thing about being busy, but, you know, and that's part of the reason why I, I got to start posting more videos. I know I said that a couple weeks ago, but. And in a roundabout way, I've got to start posting more shorter videos instead of just doing like kind of try to sum everything up and do it in a couple hour live stream. Cause, but at the same time, it's like with a live stream, it's nice because we can intermingle. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true. You pop out some content there, Seamus. I mean, it's like, holy hell. If I miss like one day, you got like four videos up and. It's like, damn. But I'm just happy to be able to hang out with you guys on a Monday night and just talk about random life in general, what everybody's working on. So I know Ed's got a lot going on over there, especially with his uh, – anybody funny now, you funny too. <laughs> Yes, quoting good old George Thorgood right there. Yes, sir. One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Actually, you know what? That'd be great. Hey, hey, Sean's in the house. What's going on? Glad you could make it. So I know Ed's got that big uh, shed he's working on out there. That project is coming along pretty good. That's a nice shed. I, I, I like it a lot. Got a nice property and just it's yeah. Well, the reason why Seamus can build so fast um, is because he's five hours ahead of us. That's why he's five hours ahead of us. So he's got a five hour head start on everybody. And this is the model that I'm working on right now tonight is the Foos uh, Ford FD 50 pickup. It is for uh, Tracy Churchill. Um, it is for Terry's wife. And it's her dream vehicle. So kind of like how I did uh, the dream build for uh, Jana, that uh, 57 Chevy Snapcat with the pink and the teal. That's basically kind of what I'm doing for uh, Tracy. So it's her dream truck, and I got her favorite colors and – well, yeah, you're five hours ahead, so, yeah, I, I would, def fuck, yeah, I would definitely be in on that. Hell, yeah. At any time, you know, it's like you guys live stream, kind of give me a little bit of a heads up, and I'll make sure I'm there because 
you know, I, not that I'm feeling like shell, wow, selfish, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I do like a big ass live stream on Monday and, you know, I appreciate all the support. And, but if you guys do a live stream, let me know. I'll be there. I mean, that's just how I roll. Well, I can promote it. I mean, like I said, if you want a certain time, like I said, I could promote it on my live stream or I could just make a video. And I mean, I, I got to figure out the whole lights thing. I mean, maybe I could do better with, uh, maybe with the lights over to photo etch. So but I will get that Barrett built. It might not look pretty without a scope. It'll have iron sight, but like I said, on a positive note, at least I had found the one piece of photo etch and I found it with my big toe. Not as bad as a Lego, but it still hurt. So at least I found it. Good thing the girlfriend didn't vacuum this week. Oh, yeah. And I could, like I said, between all of us, if you give me a time, Shane, this when you want to do that, do that live stream. I'll put it out ahead of time and shit. Even if I got to change my time, shit, I'll, I'll support it. And any of you guys who want to do a live stream, if I, if I get just a little bit of warning, I'll make sure I'm there. I mean, it could be kind of suck if y'all run one at like at the same time and then it, you know, but that's either here nor there. So actually, why the hell did I do that? Cause I could just mess that off and paint it right on the tree so way to go there cliff way to go just leave it on the tree and paint it there oh yeah no because it was like where the tabs were so I, the, the both little tabs it was like both tabs i felt both tabs and i knew it was that and then of course when i was there i sat down on my chair and i looked at my big toe and I'm like, ow. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as bad as stubbing a toe. It felt almost like a Lego, but it was weird, like step on something really sharp. It got penetration. We'll just say that. So, yeah, <laughs> it definitely was caught my attention really quick. Caught my attention really quick. <laughs> So we got that. All right. No way. Does it go on this way or does it go? So it's got to go that way. So that's got to push against that. Oh, yeah. Figure out if there's anything else. I should probably look at some directions. So everybody knows today is the shortest day of the longest year in our lives. Yeah, the winter solstice, right? Hell yeah. Like I said, it'll definitely be there. So, like I said, set it up. You'll have support. You'll have the modeling army back in you, Seamus. Great community, great group of guys. And, you know, that's another reason why I enjoy doing the live stream is I get to kind of hang out with y'all, like, personally. I mean, it's, you know, like I said, I read the comments. I answer you directly. It's just, hell yeah. Good times. All right, so this is showing a bunch of chrome pieces. The engine will probably be built. And then, uh, yeah. So we need this tree right this. So we need this little piece here. Oh, I could probably build a distributor. I got the thing for the distributor. So I think I'm going to build a custom distributor.
Oh yeah. It's, uh, <sighs> yeah, it, it's like weird. It's like, I've been cut like numerous times. And then it's like, sometimes that smallest, like little sliver gets in there and you're like fucking drives you nuts. Well, because it didn't actually lay everything open. It just sits there in the nerves and it just drives a dog shit out of you. It just, fuck. Definitely been there, John. <laughs> That's a, so, Salty could try Firebird Designs. Okay, that might be a good one to try. I mean, I don't know much about decals because I try not to necessarily buy a lot of stuff. I try to, you know, get tips and details on how to just kind of do it with what I got. But I know, and I'm not knocking it, so, but it just like, I know there's a lot of guys that I've seen like just like drop so much money just on decals and like photo action. It's just, it's crazy. It, it's awesome. It looks cool. I mean, it definitely pays off in the long run, but it's just crazy. That's like on a totally different level. That's on a totally different level. All right. So we got that. Ah, engine has. Yay. So. Hey, hey, Frank, what's going on? Glad you could make it. Glad you could join us. So let's see. Yeah. Um, sent Christmas cards out. So like I said, I'll email me and get some cards out. Shop cards, if you ain't already got one or want one, get some shop cards out. I know Rick said he had some shop cards. Um, if anyone else got shop cards, we can get them out too. So. Awesome, sweet. Good deal. Yeah, no, I definitely hear you there, uh, Andrew. I definitely hear you there. Yep. It was weird. I can't remember. It was, oh, I was sitting on a John while I was watching the video. And uh, I was like trolling. Where now was I? Oh, that's right. I was at Central Tractor and I was sitting there and I decided to do it. And my Baroma. Test name letter. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm st I'm still doing Christmas shopping. I got one or two things left to get for Christmas yet for some people. So, so awesome. Good deal. Frank's got shop cards in the mail. Um. Well, I mean, I just went out and spent more money than I really wanted to today on Christmas, but I also still have like another two days left to shop almost three. If I really want to get technical about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's just <laughs> one of them things. <laughs> ah, shit. That's, that's great. Oh, that's great. We're just this is great. And I I can't say it enough. I really do appreciate the support you guys coming out and just supporting, you know, just hanging out basically. It's really awesome. It's great to it's great to have a nice little community like this. Got a bunch in common. We got camaraderie. Let's talk about life in general and whatever and hey, hey welcome back ed uh i'm sure sure the wi-fi cut out i know the other night my wi-fi was acting kind of kind of weird so hell yeah that works too but no like i was kind of getting that while i was at track supply i was like sitting there using their uh 
restroom and uh, I can't remember the name of the guy, but I was like sitting there and like the amount of money that he spent on this model was like, holy hell. And that was just an upgrades and photo etch and other stuff. And so, yeah, aliens, definitely. So, but yeah, I mean, anybody get any major uh, Christmas presents for like their wives or is their wives watching or anything or like girlfriends or significant other or I guess whatever you choose to identify as or what you're with or whatever makes you happy. I know I know I got quite a bit of stuff for some peoples and got my Christmas cards out for the most part. So So I'm happy about that, that I got my Christmas cards out. I was worried someone wasn't going to make it because I was a little late on the draw, getting them together. But at the same time, hey, Ron, what's going on? Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. Good time. So glad the Christmas cards are... I think we're going to die. Why the hell are you such a long rubber band? I don't know. But I can make it tight all the way around. Yeah, make it tight. That's what she said. All right. No, actually, let me undo that a little bit because it's starting to twist and get crooked. All right, let's see. Let's try. Oh, we got a thing here. There we go. Got everything nice and tight held together on the engine. So, Ron Stewart. I still got to get Ron's shop card. I got to get him a shop card. I got to get a lot of people's uh, shops cards. Because, well, you know, I still got like, uh, like 70 shop cards. Yeah, no shit. Exactly. That's uh, Ron Stewart. No, I have not received a shop card from you, Ron. No. Nope. So I've got to get one from you. I've got to get. Uh, I got. I know. I definitely got to send you one of my cards. So. $109 a month. Shit. Yeah, I agree with you, John. It's, I mean, shit, I could buy for $1,200. Shit, I could buy like a couple snowmobiles or decent snowmobile for that. Or like you're saying, aluminum heads for something. Yeah. Ed could put a, like a bigger addition on his uh, Shetty's belt and for $1,200. Hell, <laughs> that's crazy. I can't believe that some of the models, it's just, how expensive they get. I'm getting out of myself. I'm just getting out of myself. So we'll take this, do this. Yeah, no, I haven't I haven't received a shop card because everybody uh, they got a Christmas card I had your address, so, yeah, no kidding, exactly, Terry, you could definitely do that, yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, I will uh, do that here after the so Let me write that down so that I have it, so that I can do it. Throw the phone up there. Of course, I got to cover my notebook. Ron Stewart. Oh, Stewart Ron. Wow. I'm already fucking up. Stu Rod 32 at Gmail. Okay. All right. I will get that email out to you, Rod. And uh, yeah, we can uh, trade shop cards. You know, I mean, I've got, like I said, a limited 100. 100 blah, blah, blah. Fuck. Spit it out, Junior. All right. I've got. 100 E's limited run one. So, like I said, I still got some people that I got to try to get emailed. I know I've sent a couple cards out. I still got, I think, like 70 left. So, you know, like I said, they're they're a pretty decent thing. And you never know if uh, I decide to do uh, like a giveaway or something like that. I might have just like a general generic subscriber giveaway, but then if you've got the limited run shop card that enters you and like a specialty build kind of like, uh, when Tim won a uh, uh, spaceship and, uh, Johnny lightning, you know, it was just because it was that number and, uh, and had a card. So it's like, and he ended up getting, uh, yeah. Oh, really? Well, Taylor, do you have a shop card? I'll send you a shop card. I just uh, shoot me an email or something like that, and I'll, I'll get you a shop card. That's not a problem. All right, sweet. That's awesome, Sean. I've got I still got to do my intro video, but I'm building that uh, 04 uh, Yamaha VMAX, so it's going to be a, kind of a wild build. So, all right. A U M T ninety three F Gmail. shop card all right sweet i'll email you after uh the live stream and stuff like that now get your address i'll send you my address and you know we'll, we'll go from there i'm all about it you know like i said i got the custom shop cards and once i get rid of these hundred like i said this shop card will never be reproduced i'm gonna do like a video of another video basically from my phone watching me delete the file so it'll never be done again and picture will be deleted so that card will never be done again i've already got my common card built the one for after the limited run and those will just be whatever i might number them but i don't know i still ain't got that far yet so let's see we got radiator here let me try to piece that together i don't know if that's supposed to yeah that's right Oh. Yeah, I just like I said, so I went out and spent some money today and had something that I'm pretty sure she's gonna like and yeah. And if she don't like it, then too bad. So There we go. Clean up a little bit of that. Get this all. Close pin here somewhere. Actually, I got the little clamp here. I can clamp this with. Clamp that together. Getting pieces done. We got that. Everybody's in 
enjoying themselves, I hope. And All right, let's see. What do we got here? So we got axle that needs to be built. And I'm guessing this piece goes to this piece because it's a rear wheel drive. And yeah, so. Actually, I was smart. What I did is I took one of the rings and I brought it with me and had them size it. So I got the right one. Do cylinder oil spike. Oh, that would be sick. And you got it at Big Lots for like 20 bucks? Holy shit. That's pretty fucking awesome. Like I said, these uh, Star Wars kits that I got, they might possibly be becoming giveaways or they may just, you know, end up one or two might end up as Christmas gifts, and yeah. Well, of course, this, this ain't my first rodeo. I mean, I think I was right. I mean, I could have tried to size it off my pinky or something, but then it could have been used as like a tow ring or something. So, oh, let me get the screw cutter the right way here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just. Working a little bit on this, and hopefully the weather cooperates tomorrow. And there ain't a whole lot of, a lot of moisture or too cold, so I still got to go through and um, do some other paint work because, well, you know, it's it's one of them things. Clamps out. So let's see, try to think what else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sad part is all oh, my luck, you know, with them sausage fingers there, it's you know, one of them things. You know, I thought about it. I could only imagine if I went to school to be either a proctologist or a gynecologist with sausage fingers. I don't know if that'd be a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, well, probably be a bad thing if for a proctologist. I mean, <laughs> oh, I got to go see. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm bad. I don't care. <laughs> but see, I didn't do the pinky. I was smart. I brought a ring with me. So, and I had them size it. I occasionally do get it up there in the old kidney once in a while. So, <laughs> oh, let's see. If I'm just going to go one and four. It's going to go this one, or this one. Oh, that snapped together pretty nice. All right, now let's put our clothespins on and <laughs> Dr. Vinny Boom Bots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, there we got an axle built. Don't necessarily get paint right away, but it's at least built. Engine looks like it's together. It's still fairly square. That's a good sign. Firewall hood. Front clip or the light bezel thing. Look like control arms, which they are. <laughs> I know, I mean, but at the same time, it's all good. I wouldn't want myself as a proctologist. Shit. I'd want someone with small hands. But in a roundabout way, I am a government employee. So, as being a government employee, I mean, you could probably take a semi haul and triples and turn around in there and not even touch one side. You 
Oh, come on. Come on. Look better. There we go. So, yeah. Oh, this is a good time. This is a good time. Oh, check out your tonight. I use coffee. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, we're working on the uh, Fus, Fus build. I don't know why I'm using this X-Acto knife. You know how long I've had this particular X-Acto knife? I've had this, yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Tez, what's going on, brother? A2HD's in the room. What is going on? We're just working on a little bit of a foos truck right now. We did a bunch of stuff I picked up at Ollie's, a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, yeah, I uh, made the... Uh, I hope I wasn't supposed to cut that off. Of course I would cut it off because it's... You know, why the hell am I doing that? I can run metal exhaust. I can custom make exhaust. Oh, yeah, old school tester's knife. Shit, I had this from back when I was, uh, from back in my teenage years. So, no, that's all right. I'll fix it. Maybe I'll put real steel pipes. I know I'm going to wire it up and put a distributor in it. I just got to figure out once I get the headers on where to put the plugs and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to go that route. Sure, it's nice and smooth, so I can put my nice little drill bit in there. Yeah, we're gonna get around to building a distributor. They had a one. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's good. What you say that I'm messing her shit up? Well, that's all right. It'll look cool because it'll have real pipe on it. It'll have real steel exhaust. Well, it'll have aluminum exhaust on it, but it'll still look good. Go figure out what what size I need. Or oh, that's what I'll do. This some bitch will have some side pipes coming out of her. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Trace is going to get some side pipes coming out. Yeah. I don't know why the hell everybody's got to be so fucking PC nowadays. It's like, I get it. The, fuck people's feelings. I get it. They have them, but. Oh, come on now. It'll be Terry. It'll be fine. She will enjoy it. Like I said, it's her colors that she wanted so yeah I think yeah I did see that when I was on uh, your uh, deviant page so you got a lot of cool shit on there all right we got the oil pan well what color interior does Tracy want? I'm thinking of going with a white and blue uh, two-tone, which is going to match the outer. So, you know, it's like, and then, like, why? It's like it's only words. Words can't hurt you. I mean, it might make you feel bad for a while, but words don't hurt you. Baby shit green. Okay, Terry, I got that. Like a uh, Ford Pinto green. Oh, yeah. No, the USA ones are sharp as shit. Exacto. Oh. Yeah, the Exacto knives. I got one of these ones. It's not necessarily Exacto, but it was a kit that I bought. I still wish I had the one because this is one of the ones that was like a Testers USA from like 
the mid nineties. Okay, so a quick question, Terry. Is, is she like, fuck me? She wants it baby shit green? Because I can make that happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Holy shit. It's like, oh, I'm... Okay, good deal, Terry. Yeah, it's like I made I made a handicap joke the other day. Oh, who the hell was it? I made a handicap joke. And you know what the sad part is? I rode around in a wheelchair for like six fucking months. I can't remember. It was some Karen that was just being like retarding. So, <laughs> so it's like I was handicapped. I know. You see that little, I mean, mine's a red handicap sticker I have in my window, but it's red. I get it. I don't use it all the time, but at the same time. So, Yeah, that's the other thing too. Oh my God, we had we had that shit going on all the time. We had a kid, and kind of knew something was wrong with him. We were filling a filling out a command climate survey. Uh, I knew what you were getting at, Terry. I picked it up while you were putting down. So, and it was just like we're filling out a command climate survey, and I'm gonna leave that on there and paint that different. And it's like me and a couple of us in a motor pool were using derogatory terms and all this other stuff. And like, Oh my God, it was just like one of the guys said, it's like, you guys are assholes. I got to change my answers now because it was like, do you experience racism? Do you experience sexism? The blah, 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 all the shit that makes us professional. So. No shit. So your dad used to work in, uh, Exacto factory or just yeah definitely PC shit needs to chill it's I was just and I mean I'm not even it's just like you know here's the thing it's like I've been there I'm fat I know I'm fat okay and I make fat jokes just because I can and then when people get what I'm like no it's just one of them things Oh, yes. Johnny Roman worked for Klein Tools. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, the handyman came. Yes. Oh, my God. David <laughs> or Wayne's brother. Oh, my God. That was fucking hilarious. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. It's just, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's one of the things. I mean, I know I'm going to hell, but at the same time, it's like, it is what it is. You might as well just enjoy the ride. So just life's too short to get all bent out of shape out of something and have words hurt you. Oh, homie, the clown fire bill. Oh, yeah, and Living Color, The Fly Girls. Yeah, I, I used to watch that. That was, that was a pretty good show. I used to enjoy that on a Sunday night. Homie, don't play that. Yep. <laughs> Fucking Wayne's Brothers. They're a trip. They are a trip. So, just, okay, so this is that thing that's in there, so. Go down, suck my balls, and go round the rain. Ah, yes. Manhattan wearing. Oh, okay. Nice. That's cool, John. Um, yeah. And then. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jay, what's going on, brother? Welcome. We're just talking about some different sitcoms and how uh, PC and... Yeah, it was weird. It's just, yeah. And let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 
Great times. Uh, God, they need to make TV more like that. It just like go back to the days when it was like non PC because it was great stuff. I mean, the more non politically correct it was, the funnier it was. Look at some of the shit. Even like George Carlin did for Christ's sakes. He was he was another great one. So that's got to get there. This looks like it's a hood piece. That can stay. How is my engine holding up? Yeah, no shit. Oh, shit. What'd you pick up, Jay? Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, the Dukes of Hazard, that's like classic right there. That shit grew up on him. Yeah, they had to like go take it away because all the PC bullshit and God forbid it hurt feelings. So we're going to put the oil pan on. I just cut that so. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, so that's where the axle goes through. Okay, that makes sense now. Make sure that soles are cleaned out. Uh, oh, yeah. Jesus, even gone with the wind. Exactly. It's not hate, it's heritage. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just think the world is just really fucked up and really needs a reset. That's my opinion, though. All right. Need a little bit of glue on that oil pens. Let's get some bluesy on the oil pansy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Switch to a bigger clamp. Right. I agree. It's like, you know, and I'm from upstate New York, and we always pick on the people in the city, not, not for nothing. It's just, you know, it, it, it's always been one of them things because we got a bunch of rural and stuff like that. Shit, yeah. And, you know, that's the other thing, and that's something I've noticed since I've been in the military. Well, I know you live in South Carolina now, uh, Taz. I just... Um... I was just saying, it's just one of them things. It's like, even I noticed in the military, like, they're not doing half the shit they used to do. And God forbid if a sergeant yells at a soldier and, you know, do you really think that the enemy is going to care who you are or what you – sorry, my bad, Tiz. Not Taz. I got my vowels in the wrong place. <laughs> but – uh yeah, I don't know. It's just you're right. The world definitely needs an ass kick in and we just need to do it. So yeah, let's lock that in there. Beautiful. Oh, the yeah, ending looking good. All right, so we got the front piece, we got this done. Eastern Kansas, you get a little bit of everything here. Oh, yeah. Kansas. Uh, trying to remember uh, the base that's out there. Riley. Fort Riley is out there. Wait, am I supposed to cut that tab? Yeah, it looks like it's time to get cut. It gets cut fresh.
Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. It's just crazy. Wow, California. The only place I've been to in California is uh, Fort Irwin, JRTC. Fuck, or I'm sorry, NTC, National Training Center. Fuck that place. Barstow. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Shit. Yeah, we got a lot of people who are kind of close to somewhat each other, which is nice. Yeah, no, I was picking up what you're putting down, Tiz. Dayton, Ohio, yeah. You're not too far west of us. Oh, yeah. Yep. That, I do remember that. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh, no shit. This might actually be all right. Um, something I noticed on the foos kit, I don't know if it might be a little high, but uh, there's pre-hold, pre-drilled holes in the head here. I don't know if that'd be a place where they run the spark plugs or when you run them lower in the block. You know, I'll just have to put the head on and see what we get, I guess. Uh, let's see. Lived in the Bronx, super bad. California. Yeah, definitely. Built or bought. Yeah. Exactly. American first. Fuck yeah. And you can you can have all your your pride too. That's nothing to take anything away from anyone because you should be proud of who you are. You should be proud to be whatever, but you should also be proud that you're an American. And if you look at some of the shits going on in these third world countries, especially like Hong Kong, there yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. And Hong Kong is kind of backing us. I mean, they wanna they don't wanna see us go to the wayside. They got a little bit. We kind of helped them out get some of that uh freedom of speech and some other stuff. So I just seen an article on it. So so maybe I will drill these a little high. That's actually pretty good. Oh, fuck yeah, that's a way to do it. So we'll go that way. Now do I want to put the intake on first? All right, so we will do it this way. Fuck yeah, got to support the American flag. And you just got to support America to begin with. I mean, even though there are people trying to take away our rights and freedoms every day, but, and that's why they try to pussify everybody so that we can't stand up. Well, we can do that. It's our God given right. Big American flag. Oh, hell yeah. That's a way to be. And it's like, we've got, that's the safety course, not too far from where I'm at. And 
that's actually not a bad place to go drag race. And that's something that I've. So. Yeah, no, I'm actually center right, but I also almost borderline, I wouldn't say libertarian, but it's like, it just, I don't want big government. I just want to be able to do my shit and be happy. And I don't want to have to, you know, I want my rights and don't care really what anyone else does, just as long as you don't force what you're trying to do. And, uh, Yeah, no shit. That, exactly. I'm not going to get into that whole fiasco on that, but I, I went through I went through a little stint with that. And everybody misunderstood the meaning and thinks it's what it's not, and, you know, automatically assumes they're Nazi, blah, blah, blah. But it's, yeah. It's not, it's not what it was it's you know I have fuck yeah there's a big difference and they love this country and their dads are... oh hell yeah Night Rider was another one you know there is a Firebird kit I'm trying to remember who the hell built it I want to say it might have been Peter built it um, there might have been another guy, but you could have easily turned that into kit. Not, oh, there you go. That's another one Seamus can do. Night Rider. Well, oh, lights, but uh, that's anything here nor there. But uh, let's see. People see the room similar to Nazis. Yes. Um, Swastika was originally a sign of protection. Yes, it was. And it was covered in different religions and. You know, I think you should be able to express your whole freedom of religion and being able to, you know, this country is great. Well, we can do it. It's not a problem. I mean, sounds like a plan to me. Fuck. Let's go. <laughs> what do they call that? Appropriation, misappropriations or something, or everybody's trying to get their reparations. Oh, shit. That's right. Uh, which way did my asshole go? Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Earl Grey tea. I ain't had that in a while. I used to drink that on occasion. <laughs> that sounds like it's fun. Oh, no shit. That's pretty cool, John. That's fucking awesome. All right. I got to make sure. This is a Ford. The distributor goes to the front, not the back. I almost fucked it up. I got to remember, the distributor goes on the front on a Ford. I think even on a Dodge, too. Some Dodges. I almost put the manifold on backwards where the distributor point goes to the back. So, good thing I looked at the directions for that. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking sweet. I want to say they were uh, Kawasaki, I think, 1000s, I think. KZ 1000s, I think they were. That's going to make me think now. Chips, I want to say they were KZ 1000s. They were, they were Kawasaki's and Chips. So we got that. We got cylinder heads. Oh, all right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. 
fucking things. Yeah, exactly. It's like there's a big difference between a Maltese cross and a fucking or an iron cross, Maltese cross, and oh, excuse me. Chips motorcycles. Yep. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Chips motorcycle. Motorcycle officers in chips. Right. KZ1P and KZ900C2 in season one and two. And KZ1000C1 season three. Ponch almost won the street model, the KZ1R. On a name your price, producers use the same trailer for filming season three as they did the first two. So they were Kawasaki's, they were Z1P's, KZ900, C2, and then the KZ1000C from season three. So, yep. Good deal. So, yeah. I did see the remake of Chips with Dax Shepard, and that was fucking hilarious, not going to lie. Oh, that's beautiful. That's going to be nice, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just... I don't know. The the people are destroying history and getting rid of it, and they're not teaching it. And it's just people need to learn the history, no matter how painful. I mean, you know, everybody's all about, you know, and I'm not even to black this, black that. What about all the Irish? What about all them that got fucking like slaves and shit like that? You don't see them fucking crying about it. You just see them drinking a lot more and fucking driving on with life. They're not looking for reparations. They're just Looking for a Mickey's or something, you know? I mean, it's, you know, I'm not trying to be derogatory. It's just, you know, there's more oppressed groups of people out there than just what everybody thinks. So. Shit, yeah. No, I'm definitely looking forward to this uh, bike group build. I just something that, and especially like the bikes, and that's why, like I said, I made it over like 500 cc. And I know Tim made a comment, but I guess if he wants to build a little monkey bike just to be that guy, he can do it. I'll let him because I know he made a comment about it. Oh, yeah, no, that was the other thing, too. Yeah, the Chinese people in the railroad in the Old West. Yeah, they were they were oppressed and exploited and shit. Yeah, they... Fuck. It was more than... So... And that's just all part of history, even though it's painful, because... If you don't learn history, you're more than likely going to repeat it. Ricard used to drink Earl Grey on the next generation all the time. People would say that. Yeah, Monkey Bike is CC, but I don't know. I was kind of fucking around with Tim the other night. There, or he, Tim had made a comment about, yeah, about, oh, I'll just build a monkey for it. And I'm like, no, it's got to be 500 cc, but you know, if he wants to build it, he can build it. Just, but the bike's got to be over 500 cc, and that's why because you get some beautiful bikes that are, uh, you know, 500 cc or greater. That was kind of more of just like a kind of being a smart ass, but 
But no, Mike's got to be over 500 cc. Um, yeah, so. But I'm just definitely looking forward to this group build because I got some plans for that VMAX. I, I've done it. Okay, my niece has a 90cc Honda four-wheeler that I bought her for her fourth birthday. And yeah, I've been on it. And it is kind of comical. I'll have to, well, probably over the spring, I'll have to get her out here. I'll get her, I'll get on it and ride. So, <laughs> oh shit, 75cc, damn. You can put that on a little go-kart motor. <laughs> yeah, I know what a 50cc is. <laughs> But that was a 90cc that uh, that I got her. Yeah, at four years old, she had a 90cc. She had a Power Wheels at age one. I'll have to find a video of that. I'll have to find a, find a video of that. I, I got it for her first birthday. She got a power wheels that I went through and kind of custom did had the charger and everything else. It's pretty cool. Let's get that there. So engine is working on being built. We're making progress. The engine is almost done. Oh, Jawa. Hmm. You know, that actually probably wouldn't be too bad. I, you know what? Maybe that could be like uh maybe we could do after the motorcycle big group build, we could do uh we could do like a mini bike group build. Oh, the Jawa from the Star Wars, yeah. Thought that's Holy shit. You put that in a three-wheeler? Fuck. Three-wheelers are fun. I haven't been on one. Actually, I take that back. I was on my uh, buddy's uh, little uh, 250. He had two, Honda 250 Big Red Sport. That was fun. But I can only imagine when 1100 KZ 1100. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shit, yeah, that'd be a fun fucking ride. Actually, I think them Jawas might be. I don't know. I'll have to check into that. Gold, red, and blue. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I, was, I think it was last year that was on. Fucking thing's a wheelie machine. Wheelies just, yeah. Damn thing's a wheelie machine, but it's fun though. It's flipping fun. Right, so, steel and cake. What car do I want? To Probably Ford Blue. Aluminum and aluminum. Aluminum and aluminum. So aluminum, e semi gloss black, aluminum. Why the hell are they making everything aluminum? Do they have like a plated thing where they have the. Okay, well, let's. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, three wheelers or something that wouldn't be bad. Oh, yeah, no, it's like you can wheelie a four wheeler too. Mine, it takes a little bit to wheelie. I got to kind of 
preload uh, preload the suspension a little bit because it's one of them big four wheel drives. It's a uh, Kawasaki Brute Four Six Fifty. <laughs> yeah, no, especially when you're riding them, it's like they were fun. It's just, oh my god, that was a good time, real good times. Holy shit. Wow. Under three hours still. Holy shit. I can't believe that. So, yeah. So, as of right now, it's probably going to be uh, my stream on the 27th, but I might possibly push it out to the next weekend just because Teresa will be off. So... So, and I'll talk with Terry more about that um, on the telephono. So, well, I could probably make some wires off of this. I've got some wire. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll wear it. No, that's cool. Like I said, I'm here. I'm just messing around with this food truck right now. Just not really doing a lot, trying to keep an eye on conversations and engaging people and, you know, just kind of keep the, the live stream going because, you know, I got awesome people that support. So, well, that's all right. I mean, it's, I, I'm not, you know, like I said, I want, I want T to hang out with Tracy. You and me can hang out and stuff like that. I mean, you know, or, I mean, if you want, you come up two weeks in a row. I mean, maybe do that if you wanted. I mean, probably be a lot, but, you know, we could do it anytime. I know I have to make a trip down there. Well, come hang out anytime. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, it'll be great. Fuck. Any, anytime you want to come up, you know, bro, mi casa su casa. You know that. Hey, Craig, how's it going? No problem. I'm glad, I'm glad the card got to you, and it actually got to you before, you know, the end of the year. I, I'm glad because I sent, like, a whole big stack of these cards out and was hoping they would get to everybody by Christmas so and I guess they've been doing halfway decent about getting everybody to Christmas so you know that, that's a good sign so I haven't lost all faith in the postal system plus I think I uh, made it uh, oh, what the hell was it Shit, I was just going to go somewhere with it Oh, the ghetto gondola finally made it to the GFR. I have to go, like I said, check it out. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's of course after the live stream. And you know, I could concentrate on maybe getting caught up on. Uh, hey, can crash? What's going on? Oh, I'm doing great. Have a merry Christmas. I'm, uh, you know, hanging out. Uh, we're working on the Foose model tonight. Um, this is. Uh, I don't know what I'd like to call like a dream car build for uh, Terry's wife, Tracy. So she wanted a fifties Ford and I see a lot of you guys building this kit. So I'm like, well, shit, I might as well build it because it kind of fits the purpose. So I apologize. I haven't been over to check out more of your videos. I've been busy kind of doing other stuff and just, been busy with a lot of projects and so I'm gonna work on trying to get caught up this week with everybody or at least before Christmas so that you know I should probably use smaller tweezers for that. You know they put my smaller tweezers. Oh. Is that them? Yeah they're smaller tweezers. So yeah no we're just like I said we're just hanging out doing our thing and 
Shit. So we're just working on doing the model thing. Come on, line up in there. Yep, let me see. And then you gotta go, no. Yeah. You son of a bitch. All right, stay. Hey, King Crash, I appreciate it. It definitely has been a busy time of the year. And take care of yourself and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for stopping in. Yeah. I know my fat head is like blocking the Yule Log going on in the background. I don't know if I got to change the way to position or... Okay, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, I could definitely do that because uh, the other thing I was thinking is like uh, probably these details right here on these door cards. So I'm going to paint this part right here, the color. I'm going to leave the rest of it white, so... Which I could probably just mess that off and just spray it, and then I'll worry about detailing the speaker. So now I'll just take a little spot to black. And all right, so we got to build our distributor six hours later. So I think that's good. We could probably put our tranny pan on. <laughs> I said tranny. All right, good save, good save. And I've got my cool uh, dun, 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 dun. oh, yeah, I'd definitely be the artsy fartsy, you know what I mean, there, bud. 10 4. I'm picking up what you're putting down, tracking like a derailed train, or at least the VCR, anyway. Hey, Seamus, Merry Christmas. Thanks for dropping in. Let me know when you want to do that live stream. I'll be there live at five and I'll announce the shit out of it. So, uh, yeah, Seamus sometime here is going to be doing a live stream on the lights. So that'll be some kick-ass shit to watch. And we will definitely be uh, definitely be over there if, if you can. I mean, to support him because he's fucking does amazing, amazing work with lights. And it's just He's a lighting guru. Take care, Seamus. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas. That's fine. It'll be all right. Now I'm just going to line this up, line this up. And hey, all right. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're making some progress. So. I don't know if that little piece of flesh is good or not, but it's going to stay there. All right, so let that set for a few minutes. All right, now we're going to drill our hole, our hole for the distributor. Now, I almost messed up and drilled a hole in the back because I got to remember I'm working on a Ford and not a Chevy or a GM. We got a nice little starter pilot hole here. Oh, yeah. We're just going to drill it. Drill it. Oh, yeah. Now we're playing with the Jingle Bell Rock. Mm. 
Time is a swell time to go horn and a one horse sleigh. The mingle and the jingle and jangle, it's the jingle bell rock. All right, so now, hell yeah. So I got that little piece. Now for the fun part, I wonder how I do it in here. Yeah, we're gonna do something a little different. Now where the hell did I put them little bits and pieces? Hmm, that's all. Um, I don't know. I could use liquid glue. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I just buy it because it's cheap and what it's supposed to be used. I mean, liquid glue, I could try it. That's not a problem. So... Yeah, John, I, uh, I know we just use the testers. I mean, I've seen there's other glues out there, and I've tried uh, dollar store super glue, which is like hitting a miss. And then I bought some of this stuff last time that I try. It says cement for metal and wood, so I'm going to give that a shot. Oh, shit. We have a birthday announcement. Yay! So you're off till January 4th, Craig. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll get some bench time. I mean, shit. That'd be the only nice thing about being, like, kind of on, like, quarantine and stuff like that is the fact to uh, get to do some bench time, so. Oh, it's got what I want, it's got what I need, it's got electrolytes. Shit, yeah. Let's uh, make sure it's a little bit. Now let's figure out what size we're going to need to drill through. Got this. Making the custom do 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 do. This is an eight. See what we got for drilly bits. Just like the larger ones. Yeah, let's see if this will fit in our cool little drill. Oh yeah, Faller. That's uh, German glue. I seen him at. I just seen that video uh, last night. I believe it was. Yeah, Doug's Doug's got that. I just seen that. Uh, just seen that. Really? Okay. Well, that might be something. I'll have to see if it's something that they carry local because I'd rather, like I said, spend the money on uh, brick and mortar instead of going to 
Yes, the chicken pit special. That was a Ford Thunderbird, I believe. I think they got a NASCAR kit of it. Uh, who the hell was it? Lucas C. said so. I think it's like J.R. Savino models. I believe it is. It does like he, that they've been doing specifically NASCAR models. So I'm sure you could probably get that. And uh, um, what the hell is it? Um, yeah, so. Yeah, that would be another one, like uh, Terry was saying, stroke race car. Another Burt Reynolds move. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because I see uh, Lucas C. Uh, had a couple of them. I seen them on his channel. And that was actually where I had uh, seen them at about the Savinos. See, so should have some red wire still. If I can remember where the fuck I put it. Here. Now that I put it in the paper, because, well, that's what I do. I'm going to lose the mouse. Nice. Yeah, I've got that on the DVD. That's what Doug was saying. It's got the metal tip. And, I don't know, it should be pretty good. Uh, oh, you know what? Since it's a green truck. Let's see if I can get up. Oh, fuck. I fell down the other day, so... My body's a little on the my body's a little on the sore side, but since I'm off, I might as well get that major brick wall thing. Now here's the red wire, here's some black wire, and we got some green wire. And this is this, uh, ah, losing pieces here. So this is that miniature, uh, I already kind of cut some of the pieces out of the trees and it's got little interlocking pieces that go together for that, uh, diorama for, uh, my, uh, friend uh anthony's hutzer so so that's actually pretty cool but so we got some of this green twist tie stuff so what hey terry what color plug wires does tracy want i've got Green, black, or red?
And all this is is a twist tie dispenser. It's Christmas wrap. Nice gauge. It's almost about the same gauge as uh, this one right here, like a 20, 24, 26. Okay, red it is. I'll put the green in another one. So I got some of this really fine wire. I just got to remember how much I need and how to do it, but that's all right. Because I got this tip out of that book that uh, Mr. Uh, James Morris sent me, that hot rod book, which is pretty cool. So if you uh, follow uh, Jim or, you know, want a shop card from Morris Custom Models, um, normally when he sends out a shop card, um, he – uh, gives you the little uh, how to detail hot rods and engines and stuff. It's actually a really cool uh, book. So that should be more than plenty of wear what I need. But really, have more than need, need it, not have it. Um, boom. I'm going to have to get a different cutter. Yep, I'm going to have to get a different cutter. Son of a bitch. I'm not sure I got my curve either, so. I can do that, too. I can make it any way. What do we got to replace Bert, Clint, or Charles Bronson, or Steve McQueen? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I could do red, green, red, green. That's not a problem. I got the green wire, too. Are you make it Christmassy. <laughs> don't laugh. Oh, that's a hell of an idea, Terry. Green for the even spark plugs. Red for the odd spark plugs. Holy shit. That would be awesome. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, why the hell am I doing that? I got a little cutter right here. Shit, yeah, bud. All right. So red, green it is. Sounds good to me. All right. So let's see. We need to get. So we got to remember we're going from the front. So we got red. Caught it. Yep, I do remember that. Red Green was a hilarious show. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Like I said, it's definitely a win win. Oh, yeah. Which we got one. Shit, I just knocked down the ground. No, wrong one. All right, we got that. Cutting it, cutting it, cutting it. It's a good idea. It's still YouTube. That's awesome because I, I haven't I haven't seen that show in forever. It was a great show. I used to watch it, uh, and I just dropped the green. No, I couldn't have gone. I could have gone too far. I know it dropped. I just seen the shit drop. 
Oh, there it is. So. Hell yeah. Fix everything with duct tape. The possum mobile. Oh, yeah. Four. We got four of those. And then we're going to do a. Uh... So that should be the coil wire. For coil wire. Oh, <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the game for <laughs> Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, some of the shit. It was just, oh, it was great. And he used to do uh, all sorts of stuff. And, I mean, it was, like, legit would work. Like, when he did the autonomous car, just using, like, power drills and some other stuff. That was a great show. No, of course, I just dropped the red one. I don't know. Dropped it right here under my foot. So, all right, so we got that. We got that. It should be long enough. So, this one should be cut. Oh, it's a little bit shorter. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We're doing a distributor right now. He's trying to. Might be Christmassy, but it'll still work. All right, so now we just got to figure it out. Big. Probably don't need that bigger one for the coil wire. Let's put, oh yeah. Yes, the homemade backhoe. Yes. That was another good episode. Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out how big. Red, green, red. Twist them together.
There we go. Get on a little bit. Get them all twisted and tighter together, and it'll look pretty. It'll look pretty, pretty. Yes, yes. It'll look pretty. So what I'm doing right now is I got my small little bitsies of wire. And I'm basically just using a set of players here. Try to just tie them together a little bit before I stuff them in my little, little piece of sprue distributor that I drilled out. It might not look the prettiest, but once I get all the wires in there and get them run, it'll be all right, I guess. So... going to look so pretty. All right, just a little bit, like I said, a little bit more, I wouldn't say time consuming, but it's just one of them things. Can you want everything nice and Especially when you're dealing with the distributor, because you want it to look kind of good. Come on, pick up wire. So we're still, still working it. We're still working it. Shit, I forgot to do some channel shout outs. Oh yeah, there's a jam. Fuck yeah. Further done, ding, further done, dirt, 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 Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Actually, I got to announce, uh, yeah, it's uh, watching you log. I better not get like uh, what they're calling them uh, copyright violations. I don't have rights to the song, but I'm listening to it. And if you don't want me promoting it, you can kiss my ass because it's. Christmas. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. The end there where uh, Clark Griswold is uh, talking to the guys going into the board meeting room there. Merry Christmas. Kiss his ass. You kiss his ass. Oh yeah. I look so Christmassy and festive and
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the guests are the same. That's, oh my God, yes. That's awesome. That is cool, Craig. I, I love that Taz mug. He's like, just dad, just fuck off. Uh, you know, that's the movie I've got to break out. I got to sit over there. I just got to break it out and, and watch it. It's one of the, you know, of course, Christmas classics. You got to have it. It's in the rule book, kind of. Oh, I mean, it all depends. Then you got the Christmas story. And Ralphie will shoot your eye out. Eh. Yeah, good times. <laughs> oh, I was shooting at icicles. Yeah, bullshit, you were a kid. You hit a piece of fucking metal and it ricocheted and hit you in the eye. Because you're going to shoot your eye out, and that's exactly what you did. <laughs> Elf. Oh, yeah. I got, I kind of forgot about that one. I mean, it's like it's got Will Ferrell in it. It's a newer one. I've only seen it, like, twice. I could probably add that to my list. I like a lot of the older class, but you got to, Yeah. Definitely National Lampoon's Family Vacation. Oh, my. Or Christmas Vacation. Cousin Eddie. Jenner's full. I don't know what you're going to do with a tree that big, Clark. Or I don't know what you're going to do with a tree that big, Griswold. Bend over and I'll show you. I know you ain't talking to me like that. No, I'm not talking to you like that. Looks right at the old lady there. and <laughs> She got all fucking muck hurt and Oh, uh, yeah. God, that was a great movie. Uh, and so I should check for my size. Uh, that sounds wrong, but hopefully it'll still fit in there. If not, I can make a couple modifications to make it fit. Uh, I forgot a wire. Oh, well. I'll get it to work. <laughs> I'm, de I'm definitely going to have to. I have... The, other, the other day, it was weird. We got that snow, and I had slipped and fell on my flipping driveway. I tried doing a front-back split. I'll tell you something. That shit hurt. I have not stretched that way in, well, I can't remember how long that it's been since I have stretched that particular way, and it hurt. But everything seemed like it held up in the knee and everything. I don't know about the hip yet, but, I mean, I'm still able to walk and do some stuff and work out of physical therapy, but... That was rough, not going to lie. I was, like, more cussing than more pissed off. I probably was hurt more than anything. And watch Christmas Story. I'll have to, I'll have to try it. I mean, when I get out and stuff like that, you know, because you and me, Terry, we already talked about it. It's going to be the whole big thing once I actually finally, you know, get off or get out, you know, if and well, when, you know, I get off or get out of the military, it'll probably be one of them things. So it's going to be a big thing, and we'll just sit down and burn one. So I already, I already, we, we already, we already had that talk, and it's, yeah, so. All right, let's see. This should still, hopefully, if I did it right, should fit in here, kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of. All right, we'll just work this wire down into this piece. All right, I should have probably put a little bit of glue or something. Uh, 
<sighs> All right. Well, she's not the prettiest, but at the same time, we got us a uh, festive uh, a distributor. All red and green, and so green's going to go to the even, the red's going to go to the odd. Wait, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay, that's right. Come on. That's coil wire. That's why I got an extra red one in there. Forgot about that coil wire. Ah. So let's uh, figure out how I want to do this. All right, so we got this piece. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a small hole in the bottom. Yeah. And cap this off. Ah, yes, yes. And that Yule Log is awesome. Pretty cool. I like it. That's something I might have to do because I can honestly say I've never uh, I have never smoked weed because I thought it would fuck me up from getting in the military and that's the only reason why I haven't. But once I get out I'm going to do that just to say that I've tried it, and, you know, me and Terry have already talked. He did a shot with me and broke his five years sobriety to do a shot with me, and, you know, I told him I'll fucking smoke a bowl with him, so. Why not? It's what, it's what friends do. Well, family does, you know. Friends do. You know what I mean. So. Come on, don't do Got the warm single flipping, sticking it out too far. All right, so that might work. All right, so we got our we got our cluster of wires. Now we're trying to. All right, so let's get our little players, hold this, drill a hole down through here. Where the hell did I put my pin place now? It's fucking right here in front of me. I'm losing my name. It's always Christmas. That's what she said. I haven't done anything for Christmas. Oh, uh, yeah, it's another year over, another year down the drain. Yep, it might begin. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, exactly. I remember that, but I got it on Hulu now. So we got our. Oh, you should say I got Christmas present early uh, a couple weeks ago because I had a sale on it, and it was one of them things. It's like, well. They got a sale on it. We should get it. And I'm like, well, we should wait till Christmas. But she's like, they got a sale now. And I'm like, and all right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And remember, this time of year is not about the receiving. It's about the giving. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I definitely don't. I, I, even when I was in the hospital, they were impressed about the... Um, 
oxy that uh that i took i mean for the initial surgery and some of that they had me on it and uh and i was like not bad and that was one of the things not saying that i would get hooked but i didn't want to take that chance and it was like weird because the doctor's like, are you sure you don't want more oxycontin? You sure you don't want more? You had major trauma. You know, you got a lot of, you got a lot of hardware in your pelvis and that. I'm like, no, I'm good. Thanks. Just, I think I was on it like seven or eight days. And yeah, it was weird. I just, It's just weird. Shit. Well, hopefully. I mean, the hardest thing that I'm on right now is gabapentin, and that's just for nerves. Yay, let it be Christmas. Yay. Hey, Dirk, what's going on? Not a little hell of a lot. We're working on the food truck right now. Um, that uh, McHugh model, that Pontiac you're working on, came out, uh, came out pretty decent. I like that Duplico uh, color match series. I'll tell you, it is... Believe it or not, a really good – it is a really good paint. That's what I uh, painted that tow truck with that I've got, plus uh, – did not go through all the way? Okay, now oh, there it is. All right, I'll check it out here in a minute. I'm uh, trying to ram a uh, ramrod. Team ramrod. So. Let's see if I get this a little straighter. So we're building a distributor. We're working on the foos truck. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're just kind of messing around right now and just trying to do something a little different. So. Um, you know, I haven't tried to duplicate color in a purple pool yet, but... Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't hurt or not take it off. It should. Let's turn this a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. I'll uh I'll check it out there, Tiz. Get in there. We we'll have to get a different piece of plastic or styrene or whatever. And I could just fucking pull my piece out, glue it together, and call it a day. And I'm just work on going that way with it.
Let's see if I can cut my finger off. It's okay. Use easy off. Strip it. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I normally do that for the chrome when I uh, strip chrome. That's one of the things that I'll uh, use as the oven cleaner. Works decent. Works really good actually. Stuff this on here. All right, so we'll let that set for a minute. So we got our little base built. We got our purdy wires. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I mean. And for Chrome, I love using it because it's like so quick, it's done gets done really quick. Yep. I remember, I remember when you did that because I, uh, I didn't do mine in a Ziploc bag. I did it in the uh, solo cup so since i did it in the solo cup uh yeah hey all right yeah i'll definitely uh text you tomorrow terry what time you want me to text you i mean i'm normally up early ass in the morning anyway and i know it's uh yeah so yeah we'll definitely get in touch we'll get things uh set up figured out so we'll still shoot for the 27th and uh then maybe the next weekend or something like that, you know, when T's off and Tracy can come up too, and maybe I'll have a little bit more uh, progress done on this and maybe some other builds by next week too. So, all right. Sounds good. I'll get a hold of you after 10, Terry. Yeah, no, I get that. I didn't realize about the fumes either. I thought it was just a liquid. That's why I did it in a solo cup, but I'll tell you, Dirk did. That's good because I got some uh, them zipper lock uh, shit the zipper lock bags there just for that. So that was a good tip. So all right, sounds good, Terry. Have a good night. Tell Tracy I said hi and love you guys. We'll see you, all right? I'll be in touch. I'll text you tomorrow morning. Maybe I'll text you during your uh, coffee safety meeting, so. Oh, it softened the body. No shit. Did you use, uh, uh, like, a primer, like an adhesion, like a paint adhesion on there by any chance? Hmm. What the hell is this other stuff? There's another thing that I had used. Hmm. Um, that's all they're going to try to do. All right, so that's got to be black. That's going to be black. Black. Steel, aluminum, aluminum. What color tranny going to be? We're going to make it a red tranny. Yeah, we're going to make it a red tranny. Huh. Yeah, I was going to say, normally with the primer, the primer should you know, at least strip the paint off and then just kind of maybe leave the primer even if you got to, like, clean it up. I know I know the primer is good stuff because I've, I've used the primer. 
too, as well. I found some other shit that, no, was it? Yeah, it was Duplicolor. So um, you could pick that up cheap at uh, Ollie's, the paint. So let's see, where are we at? We should be painting parts, but right now we're doing some basic assemblies on the foos. So. So that's going to stay. That's going to be like the whole frame is probably going to be black with some chrome. Well, not necessarily chrome, but. <laughs> well, I don't know if I get it on here, but I do have uh, XM on the phone. Oh. What the hell song was it? There was a video I made and I had it playing in the background. I got a copyright strike for it. So. Yeah, no, normally every time I go to Ollie's, this time I didn't pick any up because I didn't have any colors that I wanted as far as dupe color. But, uh, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with being a metalhead, Tiz. It's, it's a good time. I listen to it. Um, like a lot of Octane, Ozzy's Boneyard serious so but uh yeah so yeah the dupe color is cheap I, I and i like it it's good stuff and um especially that stuff that uh comes in the smaller cans for the um wow no we actually get dupe color we occasionally get some of the like off brand stuff, but normally it's either Rust Oleum or Duplicolor. Like they had some of the blue peelable paint, but I'm like, I don't want to paint it with the peelable paint because if you like sit there and with the peelable paint, well, I don't know. I could probably put a clear coat over the top of the peelable paint, but I don't know how well it would actually react. That's something I might have to try or figure out. Oh, shit. Forgot we got the rear axle kind of going on here. So we can get that painted. I don't know if I'll paint it tonight, but we'll definitely get her painted. So do these big flipping tabs. Check that out. Comics Gym. Oh, cool. Nick DiPaolo is uh, posted over on uh, the Comics Gym, so. Well, you know what? All right. You know what? Hell it. Let me look him up right now, and I'll, uh, I'll play him right now just because I can. You know what? Hell it. Foster Brooks. All right. Oh, 
Foster Brooks. Foster Brooks. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'm not going to forget to look at it. And... Foster Brooks, okay. There we go. Foster Brooks, 12 Days of Christmas. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Can anybody hear this? Let me turn this down. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, like I said, I got the group build. Well, it's not necessarily a group build, but I got the Project Red Dawn I'll be working on. So, yeah, exactly. Rodney Carrington. Oh, my God. There's uh, there's another guy, Rodney Carrington. Oh, my God. That dude is funnier than a rubber crotch. Okay, so that's cool. Hey, not much is just going on, Dwayne. Doing all right? We're just uh, listening to a little bit of Foster Brooks. I got a Yule log burning in the background. Uh, well, actually, you know what the sad part is? You should have been here Saturday when that happened. I'll tell you, that was about enough to piss off the Pope. I ain't shitting you. Christmas, my turn up 
Blanche, Chattagin, Fickens of Beer for Things of Wine, some rum and a glass. Yeah. Uh, some, yeah, about that. Uh, no, actually, I was in a pile of shit in the middle of my driveway there for a minute. I tried doing a front back split, and yeah, it was weird. However, from what I could tell, the hardware actually held up halfway decent. It didn't hit, but. But like I said, I've got warranty work on it, so that's half the battle. I know we got some saxophone stuff going on. All right. There we go. That was Foster Brooks, 12 Days of Christmas. I do not own the rights to this music. I don't need no copyright infringement, so YouTube can suck my hairy balls. All right. Um. All right, good deal. So we got that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but them 80s bikes are still worth some money. Oh, that's nice how that drops in there. Oh, shit, it even snaps on me. No shit. I ain't gonna do anything in that I'm aware of, but... Why is this not... Oh, that's right, I forgot to nip the tip. Forgot to nip the tip. Doing well, thanks, Cliff. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's a class right there. Two BMXs. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, yeah, so I should have looked at that. We're like four hours in. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, we're making some progress on the Foos truck. I'm getting uh, working some cleaning up some stuff and getting her fitted fitted and no uh, get you get you so oh man mongoose oh <laughs> That's some serious money right there. I could never afford a mongoose. couple tracks uh let's see i had an old school huffy street bike I had a couple bmx's and a single freestyle that i had sold and i kind of got like hardly no money for it but sold it for like 50 bucks sucked But I was also a kid. And... Yes. That was the bike that I traded. It was actually a Sigma with the white disc. That was the bike that I actually sold. Well, sold it for like 50 bucks. 
I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass, but hell, when you're a kid, you don't realize kind of some of the shit you got and then realize that the bike's actually more expensive than what you thought it was going to be. And yeah. Fuck, I gotta quit putting this pizza backwards. Just a little bit to go on this, maybe. Yep, I gotta figure out where. Shit, I wish I would have kept it now. But like I said, I got out of it and never really thought about keeping the bikes at the time. I was just so my own stupidity. I could have probably had a little bit more. Yeah. $200 for the C? Shit. Be kind of cool to actually have one of your bikes in a museum. here in the back, so we gotta trims up so it's a Mars. Oh shit, just for the seat. sure when I'm going to be painting it possibly uh, I don't know maybe by the weekend if I can get enough uh, if I can get it enough uh, put together there John I'll probably maybe be painting it or I might actually try to paint it Wednesday just because uh, it should be a nice day to should be a nice day to paint Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. So right now I'm just trying to get some of the main 
assemblies kind of done, like trying to get the body fit together. And then I'll work on my masking off what I got to do, but I'm going to try to shoot for Wednesday to maybe paint it. I'm hoping. I got time to do that. So well, I got time to do a lot of stuff. But, well, I wouldn't say a lot of stuff, but But I'm debating if I want to spray the single or if I want to do the base coat clear coat first. So, because one's a single stage and the other is a base clear. So, I figure if I shoot single stage first and then go over it with the base clear, and then I just give it a light sanding and hit the whole thing with clear, it should make it nice, nice. Um, it's actually custom. It's, uh, I went to auto finishers, which is a professional, uh, paint shop and dropped a nice little penny on it. And it's, uh, hold on, let me grab the paint and the brand. It's called SEM, S-E-M, and it's uh, called Custom Fill. It's 61993 for 1K, 2K enamel lacquer and acrylic urethane. Oh, excuse me. It's a PPG, it's PPG color. There's a code on it. Well, it's what it ended up being was Thunderbird blue, but. So this is the paint that's getting painted, which I'll have more of this to do a couple other models, but. Because I might end up possibly doing that Shelby that I got for Terry and like this Thunderbird blue or even another color. I ain't 100% sure what color I want to do with his or maybe I'll do like a, his and hers two-tone. I'll do uh, Tracy's truck, you know, with that, with a two-tone and then I'll build his car to kind of look like hers but a little different so but yeah that's the paint that I'll be using okay all right well if I'm here I'm here if not you know how to get a hold of me uh yeah I'm just gonna be working on the uh, foos and trying to get of course I'm dropping shit again at least it's big shit that I can reach All right. Let's try to fit this together. See if that helped any. Well, that looks like it fits in there nice. Oh, I'm still getting one of that. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit more. We're getting.
Yeah, yeah. So we're just hanging out, listening to some Christmas music. We're just doing some cool shit, working on styrene, manipulating some styrene, and just having a grand old time. And this is the type of stuff that is what makes this community great. Put some filler in, but well, I mean, hey, Craig, I appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. Hey, Henry, what's going on, brother? Glad you can make it. We're working on a foos truck. Craig, like I said, enjoy. Merry Christmas. I don't catch you all before then. I'm sure I will because I got a couple videos I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make here. So Uh, much Merry Christmas to you, Henry. So what's uh, going on? That's that's pretty awesome. So I, I'm like really excited about that project Red Dog and she had cousins uh, extras in that. That's fucking awesome. That's fucking cool. I, I just yeah, now I've got to do really, really good on that truck because it's just yeah. There, I think that might be cleaned out enough, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to clean this out a little bit. So now we're just working on uh, Tracy's uh, dream truck. So... We gotta go a little bit more. Oh, I gotta trim a little bit off this. A little bit bad. We're burning a Yule log. Just because it's Christmas. Hey, hey, Pro Carry, what's going on? How's everything going? Glad you could drop in. We're just sitting here uh, building the Foos uh, FD Ford Pickup 100. And uh, this particular uh, build is going on for uh, my uh, best friend's wife. Uh, Tracy, oh, Terry is his name. He's good shit. He'll be up, uh, on the 27th and we're going to do a live stream together. So, uh, but anyway, Merry Christmas to you and yours. And like I said, I'm glad you can show up. So how's everything going? And I do appreciate the shout out. Thank you. Guten Abend. Glad to have you, HM. How you been? So today we're working on this. I got a couple other projects on the bench, but as of right now, as something different, I decided to do uh, the unboxing of 78 Firebird Trans Am formula. So 
Yeah, I got to figure that out. I don't live close to Eddie, lives in Arkansas, but I mean, my buddy Terry only lives like two hours away. So it's like he's a lot closer. Ed's in Arkansas, which is, let's see, Florida, make Florida 12. So, yeah, it's probably about 12, 13 hours. That'd be awesome because I'd love to, I'd love to get out, travel a little bit more. And, you know, like I said, it's, and I've said before, if I got people that are kind of like in my area, like, I wouldn't mind actually getting uh, going to see Dylan down there over at NYS Modeling and maybe do like a live stream with him, just like hang out. I want to say he might be in New York City, but he might be in Binghamton too. I'm not sure. Southern Tier. So, so yeah, this is what we're doing. We're just kicking back, having a couple, and uh, I got some Irish coffee. Had a silver bullet earlier, so mix it large and in charge. And so, I'm just trying to clean up some of the flash on this. So. Yeah, my Saturday was shot. I just, yeah, had a brake caliper blow out on my truck. I'm located uh, not too far from Syracuse, around uh, General Auburn location, New York. So, That's a lot better seeing that. Why does that not seem like it's flipping? Am I going to have to put filler in there? Might have to put, no. Shouldn't have to put filler in here, but I might have to. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's definitely not too bad because, uh, yeah, it's like I said, I'm out in the rural, rural sticks. I'm out in small little farm country. So it's not like city city. It's like out in the country. So, but I'd rather prefer it that way. Personally, I'd ra I prefer country living and just living out in the country away from the city so much nicer, so much cleaner, not many issues or not as many issues. And we normally tend to take care of our, uh, take care of our own out here. And, you know, or if we do have problems, we just kind of take care of it. And so that's nice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, so he's... So this is what we're doing. Um, I haven't weathered the Hetzer yet, but it's one of the builds that I'm building for uh, my best friend. I got the tracks weathered. So we got the tracks all weathered. I just got to put the winter camo on it, which is basically, I still got to spray this down and then, uh, Danke HM, Auf Wiedersehen. Um, so I still got to do the winter, winter camo on it, but it's getting there. It's at least camoed and it's got the splinter camo is what's on there. So, so 
I have to. Well, in my live feed video, um, you'll see uh, that uh, crew cab Chevy short box. That was taken. That picture was taken in uh, Sorgoff, Germany. Yes, I had that big. I had that big ass crew cab Chevy when I was in Germany, and uh, I put it in my. Uh, um, when I announce for like my live stream, when I do that one, so. Oh, nice. I like new toys. I'll have to, I'll have to go over and check that out here. You got a video of it up. I'll have to go check it out. Got to get them likes up. So. Oh, let's try to put this on the right way. Uh, yeah. I love getting new toys. And plus the Christmas being around the corner, it's the best time of the year. Because it gives you an excuse to buy new toys like that. Nice. All right. I'm definitely going to go check it out after my live stream. So... Definitely going to go check it out because I've got to get caught up on a couple videos. I had a issue on Saturday. Uh, brake caliper blew out on the back of my truck. I didn't realize that the rear brake was hanging up and it was an inboard pad. Well, needless to say, um, the inboard pad got worn that bad. And it... Uh, basically dug in toward the caliper out. Um, I was going to say, so far to date, the most challenging model that I believe I have done has been that Hetzer because I've never built a tank. Um, this one, a lot of the guys are saying it just falls together, and so far, I mean, it has fallen together pretty good. I'm just trying to uh, get it to uh, look pretty good as far as uh, some of the lines and make sure it's clean. But like I said, this is for uh, one of my uh, best friend's wives. It's like her dream truck. So working on building it, got the custom Ford cutter. So, Oh yeah, no, actually here, I don't know. I, I posted it on uh, Instagram because that's sometimes like, I post stuff on Instagram that I don't necessarily post online. And hold on, I got to reset the Yule log here. Um, there we go. Reset the Yule log. That's nice. I ain't even got to get up and do anything. Um, pictures. No, I don't need any of that. Yeah, so we had a nice little issue with Yeah, literally what happened is the inboard uh Yeah, it's the same thing. GI mechanic scale modeling. It's basically the same as the YouTube channel. So there's where the pad and stuff like that kind of broke right into the piston and it literally broke the piston. So wore the inboard pad, of course, it or the inside, they were still decent rotors. And there's a pad. One, the outside one had a lot more meat than the inside one, but the inside one is this is this one right here with the wear marks. What happened was it got to the point when it was hung up, so it ended up coming loose and it jot it jammed up against a rotor, and yeah. So So, yeah, that, that was a good time. It was, like, weird. I was slowing down, uh, come to an intersection on 326, and... Uh... No, they were. They still had a lot of meat on them. I mean, shit, it was only, I think, my second set of pads ever on that truck, and I had brand-new rotors when I bought the truck. So, I mean, like I said, there's still a lot of meat on them. I mean, there ain't now. I mean, I got new rotors on it, but... Still, it's uh, yeah, 
No, they looked uh, they looked a lot better than that, but yeah, they're decent rotors, just a little bit worn on the inside there, and that was where everything because the brake pad kind of come a little loose and it just wore that inside of the rotor, and then it finally got to the point where little studs or rivets kind of came through, caught the pistons and the caliper. And it ended up basically kind of cracking them, and it just kind of, yeah. So it was a good time. Every foot went to the floor, and I was like, yay, this is going to be fun. So, yeah, I was impressed. So, is that? So that goes, that looks kind of straight, kind of even. I mean, yeah, they were decent rotors. I mean, the newness ended up wearing out of them, at least on the inside anyway. So, love it. So if any of you guys in the scale modeling community don't know, Pro Carry Trucker's in the room and, uh, He's got a channel, and he does a lot of cool stuff. Shoots guns, drive truck, hard-working American, and, yeah, all about survival. And if you ain't subscribed, I mean, go check him out. And, you know, he's got a lot of good content. And, where the hell is that? So... Yeah, so go check them out. All right, so I got to figure out where the hell it still seems like it's catching somewhere. Oh, that would have been close. Yeah, let's trim that down a little bit and see what we get. But yeah, so I mean, that's one of the pictures that I showed there on my Instagram account. And because in the live stream, I can just pull them up on my phone and show them. Yep. So basically, it was a stuck piston, and the pad wore at a point that caused it. So, oh, that'll be awesome. Definitely got to tune in for that. But, yeah, no, John, that's uh, what ended up happening. So, and it was weird. So the pad wore right right down but i didn't realize it was locked up because the truck didn't act like it had a locked up caliper i mean when i first started driving it again after it sat for like a couple weeks almost a month it seemed like it stuck a little bit and you know rotors and stuff like that they sit they get a little rust you just you know you just ride you know driving a little bit of pressure but i didn't realize that the caliper had uh I guess it stuck, you know, it was just, I thought I was just trying to break some of the rust. So, so yeah, oh, that's like, cause them brakes were done not even two years ago and they didn't have shit for miles on them. Ooh, three and a half inch mags. Ooh. A buddy of mine has one of them, uh, because it's uh, the Turkish M1919. That's a, that's a fun uh, little 12 gauge to uh, fire. Nice one, too. Uh, 
Does that truck need to have the pistons home or the scan to? No, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I mean, it's I just one of them things. I think it it uh, just like I said, it's I'm just going to replace the rotors, which I already did replace the rotor, the uh, the hell do they call it? Uh, caliper. So. No, actually, believe it or not, that uh, six liter and stuff like that does pretty good. It's got plenty of torque. It, mechanically, the engine is like sound. But it was just weird that the rear brakes and stuff like that, uh, you know, decided to go out. Oh, they could, though. I mean, I used to have a Hypertech Power Programmer for uh, my uh, one crew cab, my 2000, which I still have, and that's in the process of a solid axle swap. Oh, okay, shit. Because I got a, I got a H and R uh, ten seventy model ten seventy six, ten gauge shotgun. So, yeah, no, that's what I mean. It's a good thing. Yep. Um, yeah, no, the brakes bled pretty good. I mean, I didn't have. I didn't blow a line, so that was good. It was just out of caliper, so it just kind of ran out of the caliper, and I was like, well, all right. So when I got to the gas station, I uh, topped off the fluid. I bought a bottle of ATF. Uh, if your models you have to be a semi-complete basis, and that would be detailed. Oh yeah, no, that they have. I have uh, some some stuff that uh, that I can use to make uh, scale brake lines if I wanted to. I could take some of this thin wire here, pull it back, and there is my brake line. And this particular truck has. The slotted uh, cal or the calipers with the rotors. If I really wanted to, I could actually take my little drill and put some drills, drill holes in there, and make some cross slots or cross drilled. Cross drilled. No, there, there's plenty of that, like. I just kind of did a custom distributor so I can wire up the engine. I wouldn't say it's the prettiest, but it works. So, I mean, you can, it, it's crazy. Cause I might even actually try that now that you bring it up. Cause like I said, this distributor is just some sprue and some of the thin wires. And here's the engine. All you do is just drill drill some of the small holes and you run the wires and once you get the distributor in since this is a four this might sit a little high but you get your distributor in and then run all your wires right directly to your uh to your engine you get this cool little pin vise here and you just yeah just drill in and does work it's it's pretty cool you can get some crazy detail work um one thing i used to use granted it was in the 90s when i used to do my distributors before the wire oh yeah check out see see me bmw oh my god you want to see some cool models he lights all his models all his models have lights so yeah uh 
solder works good too. Um, like the thin, like, uh, solder that you use for soldering that works good too. Um, I used to use just regular, uh, thread. So, um, yeah, it's like, there's a lot of different ways to do it. What I used to do is I used to take a little bit of glue, dab a little bit of thread after spraying, uh, thread with hairspray. So it'd be a little bit stiffer. So it kind of stays in place and you just dab a glue on a distributor, run it to the cylinder, dab a glue. And I mean, that's how I used to do wires, but that's all it was. You can get, uh, um, you can get the thin thread that they used to make them friendship bracelets with. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Like a lot of stuff that you can get into. I mean, my skill level is eh, so, so, I mean, there's guys out there. Uh, so. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Hey, hey, Ray, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Glad you can make it. Yeah, armature wire for the anodized look, yeah. No, we're just working on the Foos model. We had a little bit of a mail call, I sent out some Christmas cards, went over just a little bit about what was going on, uh, showed a score from um, Ollie's. I picked up a couple of these different uh, models from Ollie's whole Star Wars thing. I mean, it was all they really had. And these ones come with lights and sound and they're snap tight. And so it's like like a mini uh, see me BMW kit, except it makes sounds and lights. So and they give you everything. It requires no, it's a model and uh, you know, you can build it and play with it. So my nieces might be getting one or two of them, and so maybe it's in there. So yeah, right now I'm just trying to make sure all my pieces. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Uh, yeah, out of the friendship threads there. That's what I used to use for plug wires back in the day, before wire, but now I know there's many more ways to do plug wires so trim this out a little bit so yeah no that's uh the nice thing uh pro carry is sometimes when you get into these models and i know you've seen ed's models over there to ed's attention to detail he does some beautiful models like that Z28 Camaro he built um, that uh, Impel, I want to say it was. And, uh, hey, Keith. Oh, yeah, we're doing all right. And just as an FYI, I uh, did find that piece of photo etch. But I'm not going to lie. It's not any greatest of shape after I found it with my big toe. Photo etch hurts when you step on it. I'm just saying it hurts because I, uh, but I found the piece. So, so I think I will be able to finish the Barrett. It just probably will have iron sights on it and uh, probably won't have a scope because trying to get the other piece to go in there, I ended up breaking off a couple of the tabs because you can only really technically bend them uh, one way. So it's just going to have uh, regular iron sights. But tonight I'm doing something a little different. We're working on the Foos model for uh, Tracy, which is her dream truck. My buddy Terry, his wife, uh, it's her dream vehicle. So it's like a, like a 50s Ford. So I'm doing it in her favorite colors and yeah so so right now we're just going through cleaning up by trying to make sure we got a nice good fit because i don't want to have to fill in all these lines uh 
Uh, let's see. That's why I want to see a video of what's in my detail box. That would actually be kind of cool. I, you know, like I said, uh, Jim Morris gave me that book, How to Detail Engines, and it goes through and there's a lot of information there, which is just gold. It is just straight gold. So, maybe that might be uh, some series I could I could probably work on, or maybe do something with. That would actually be pretty cool. That doesn't look too bad. Well, maybe I will have to fill the body in a little bit. That's about as close as we're going to get, I think. I think that's about as close as we're going to get. No, I'll say. Trim a little bit more out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Do a little bit more in scale modeling, but it's all basically about uh, camaraderie and just hanging out and doing something cool. I do it on Monday night just because um, 27th is going to be a special. Um, so Terry is coming up, Terry Churchill. He's coming up, and we're going to work on a wooden pirate or a wooden Viking ship. So it's going to be kind of almost like the. Um, well, this is uh, the glue that I've been using the uh, testers model cement glue in the tube. And I just picked this stuff up the other day. I've never actually seen it until just recently. But it's uh, also uh, cement for wooden metal. Something to do there. And uh, let's see. Paint, I use rattle can. Even though I do have an airbrush, I have to uh, um, I have to work on getting set up a little bit. Um, but I normally use uh, regular rattle can spray paint. Like, this is the color that's getting... Uh, painted on this foos truck I'm building. It's Thunderbird blue. It was custom. I had it done, but uh, I normally just get regular rattle can, spray can. I can get a bunch of models painted out of it, and it's a lot cheaper than paying like um, like eight, ten dollars for like a little small can like this you know, like a little small can, like, like the testers can is like just this big, but you buy a whole can of spray paint this big. And so that's what I do. And then I like a lot of enamels. I don't do much with our acrylic, but uh, the little tester enamel paints, these things right here, it's yeah. So but everyone's got their own preference. I mean, I would be, I wouldn't be opposed to getting, uh, like, uh, John was saying, uh, liquid glue, the model masters and a triangle bottle with the metal tube. It's a little bit nicer with these tubes. There are little, um, nozzles that I probably should use, but if I can get, come on, of course you would, wouldn't you? Come on. Ah, there we go. There's these little tubes that go on the end, kind of almost like a little mini caulk gun and stuff like that. So that goes on them tubes there. So, but yeah, everyone's got their own little uh, different, um, you know, exacto knives or probably the best way to go about it but it's for some of your larger stuff if you really wanted to 
I think I picked up a four package of these, a three package of these. Um, no, actually, the thing about the glue is um, it causes a chemical reaction with the plastic so that it bonds. But super glue is great to use. But like I said, for like some of the bigger areas, you can get like a set of three box cutters for like a buck. You know, just something that you can kind of clean up. A little bit of flash because on the plastic parts you get flash so yeah no I mean that's how I started and it just I've been out of the loop for doing models for a while but you know so I mean like I said you get a package of three of these it gets a little dull on the blade you just break the blade off and you got plenty more so I mean um, let's see Box of paper clips. Um, they always work good for making little studs and uh, get a solid piece of plastic here. Uh, where the hell did I put my pin drill now? So you take your little pin vise here, which basically a little small drill bit, and you just drill a hole. And normally the drill bit that I got is only about the size. Uh, yeah, exactly. You don't need anything major. I just got some rainbow ones from the dollar store. Pfft. Yep, exactly. So it's like you make your hole and you put your hole in your little piece of styrene. You take your clip I just had. Hey, here we go. No, I'm just looking for a different piece. I know I got a half a paper clip out here. So, ah, here it is. So, so like I said, and mine's coated, but there's the end of the paper clip. They work good. So you take the paper clip, put it right in the hole, and like Ernie was saying, it makes good joints. There you go. It's good. It's solid. It works. Holds everything together. Um, yeah, like Ernie was saying, they work well for making hinges and, um, yeah, for hinges, like if you need to hold a couple pieces together, Yeah, so, I mean, there's, like I said, you don't need a whole lot. And I got to get a couple mechanical pens or pencils so I could take the springs out of them. And there was a build I was going to do with that, and I can't remember what I did with all the pieces. But I took apart a couple of the mechanical pens, and you take the springs out of them, and you cut the springs, and you could actually probably, over a suspension like this, that's kind of tall. You could take that spring and probably cut it down to size and put it, paint that black or red or whatever color you want, and then put the spring over that. And it'll look like a steel, you know, like an actual coil spring. Yep. I don't know if that went in there, right? Uh, yeah, shit. You got clothespins? They were good for holding parts. So if you want to paint something, you know, just lock in a clothespin, paint it. Tweezers are a small set of vice grips or just clips. And then whatever side you was, you know, you can sit there, paint the other side and Oh, nice. That's pretty cool doing the headlight doors. Ooh, fuck me. Excuse me. Oh, all right. So, 
I mean, that's right now. The other thing is, too, is you want to try to fit your pieces together to make sure that they fit right. And because uh, when you get into some of the other stuff, you just want it to fit nice and tight. Tight like a toiga. I'm still thinking I might have to trim this a little bit somewhere, but I think it might be in the corners. Hey, I'll tell you something, Broker. There's a lot of guys in here, and ever since I've been doing these videos and I've been watching these guys, hanging out with these guys in the uh, scale modeling community, all I'm going to say is, uh, yeah, it's my, my skills have gotten a lot better because there's more than one way to skin a cat. Plus, yeah, exactly. Get a snap kit. I'll tell you right now, snap kits are not what they were in the uh, like 80s or 90s. Snap kits has come a long way. Um, if you go back and watch – uh, the video of where I built the 57 Chevy. Oh, uh, that's a Christmas gift that I had made for the girlfriend's daughter. Now, uh, you know, what I did is I took her favorite colors. I did it all up. That was exactly how she wanted. I put my own little touches on it. It's a beautiful build and it just, Yeah. And it come out nice. And that was a snap kit. Sad part is with the way I painted it and kind of detailed it, you would have never thought it was a snap kit, but it was. So there's, that's the easiest way to, to do it. Close to the finger. I should zoom. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a Mac RS, uh, R model Mac, uh, 685 RT. I mean, it's not an Anthem, but I mean, I'm pretty sure they have the Ford CL 9000. I believe they do. Not a hundred percent sure, but if you want to go old school, I'll tell you right now. Um, can't remember. I think I paid if you got a Hobby Lobby close by, but you're also on the road too. So you can go to a lot of different places and probably get stuff that other people can't. So Physical therapy today. Holy shit. There's somebody up there. Okay, I'll stay. There you go, Pro Carry. What about something like that? I mean, that's a little bit more advanced, but there you go. Our model Mac. 685 ST, our model Mac. Uh, paid 40 bucks at the Hobby Lobby. You might be able to get a little cheaper at like a model store or something, like a brick and mortar place. Um, I 
actually, you know what? I do have that. I haven't wrapped it up for Christmas, but I'll just show you. Oh, why did I sit out? Oh, hell yeah, bud. Oh, hell yeah. You can get the plated tanker, too, like uh, I did on my Ukraine build. Um, so this here, 1957 Chevy Snap Kit. Pink and silver interior, pink and basically see foam green, straight 50s colors. I got to I gotta find a different play for it or make one, but I still got to sell. Uh, these ones are not as bad. I mean, you have to cut them off the sprue, which is not really too hard, but I mean – like I said, if you're going to do like the paint and stuff, like you're going to paint the body. Yeah. I mean, you got to sand it down a little bit and prep your surfaces, but I mean, and that, and I also went over this with a polyurethane uh, top coat. So um, I haven't even be honest with you. I haven't even sanded or done anything with this. I just, so, I mean, but it's not as much. I mean, these, uh, kits come out really nice i mean these spray or uh these snap kits come out really nice it's you know and you know how i detailed the bottom sharpie marker copper silver so i mean and this one here is uh the daughter well the girlfriend's daughter's uh christmas present so don't mind a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, but it's, uh, I just use regular polyurethane like they use like on furniture stuff. Um, so yeah, this is like for age 10 plus, but it's like snap tight max. I mean, the detail is phenomenal in one of these kits and it's snap tight. I think I, well, granted with all the paint, I mean, I had the assembly done in huh, like, not even an hour in the assembly, but the hardest part was like, I wouldn't say the hardest part, but the paint is what took the longest because you want to paint, especially with spray paint, you want to let it gas out before you start going into any more. You want to make sure you get a, uh, yeah, that too. Um, yeah, I was going to say a good sprue cutter. Um I had bought like a package of three tools. I think it was from Trash Supply for like three, four bucks. I was going to use these as my sprue cutters, but I kind of bent them already. I mean, I wouldn't say they're super great, but um, small pair of tweezers. Um, yeah. That's true. They got them too. I mean, hell, even, even though if you're not like a star Wars guy, or if you are, if you got an alley, check out these Ravel kits. Literally these ones just snap and play it says on the back, no glue, no nothing. Just no glue, no tools, no paint. You just snap, go put the batteries in it and call it a day. Because this one, this particular one has lights and sound action. Where you get it from, I don't know, but it says it's got light and sound action. So, and it even includes a three one and a half volt LR forty four, which are basically like the flat batteries. So, oh yeah, no, like I said, we. We got a hell of a group here. Like when I first, uh, well, I had got back into building model cars after my accident.
Good model for Franken. I'll oh, check them out. So, I mean, it's, you know, one, one of them things that when I got started, um, and I was kind of like, the only reason why I kind of got back heavy into models is because I was in a wheelchair for a while, but that's here or there for my accident. And, uh, you know, I got back in a building, so I started watching YouTube videos and the kid Dylan over at NYS Modeling this kid, I think, is under the age of 21, and he does some amazing builds. And I mean, like, crazy amazing builds. And, uh, hey, there you go. If you find it at Ollie's, they got them. They're 10 bucks. Yeah, they're 10 bucks at Ollie's. So, I mean, I got a couple different ones. I got that I just bought today that if you, you know, Resistance X-Wing Fighter. I got Poe Damien's. I got, um, yeah, so, I mean, if he's a big Star Wars guy, they got them. These are new. I had never seen models like this, so. So, yeah, I mean, it's just something. And these guys in the community, it's like I started watching Dylan, and Dylan's the one who gave me the inspiration to start a YouTube page. So, um, with his inspiration, I'm like, hell with it. And it's like I got to meet guys like Ed and then Ernie or Spunky379, uh, you know, Keith, you know, kind of doing a lot of the same different, you know, John, Mopar, not, you know, it's – as I, as I got into the community, I did a bunch of different builds and different things that I kind of, from my time growing up, like little stuff that I kind of thought were good tips and that I knew, I shared with these guys. And I've gotten a lot of information from these guys as well. It's just, that's what we do. It's like we take our knowledge and you know, share it with each other and just glad to help out. You know, I, um, what the hell was it? Oh, for when I hit my hundred subscribers, I did like a couple giveaways. I gave away like a model and some other stuff, uh, matchbox cars and, you know, just tried to make it different, but it's like, I should do a little bit more with the, with the matchbox cars, but, and I may, like I said, still get into that, but it's, one of them things. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's the best thing about being a grandfather is you can spoil them and then give them back to their parents. That's what I do to my nieces all the time. Spoil the shit out of them and then take them home and send them to their mother. It, it works. So anyway, pro carry, it's a pleasure. We'll definitely be in touch, but I'll catch you before then. Have a Merry Christmas and, uh, I'll go over, check that uh, unboxing video out, and uh, after the live stream, which I'll probably be cutting it off here fairly soon. I think the one live stream I think I had was just under seven hours, so I go for a while. I start at six, but I might try to make it 5.30, not 100% sure, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy when you bring a thread, but it's like, I didn't, well, I don't know if I had wire even really considered this small. I just used thread to run thread and hairspray to make my plug wires. So, oh, what we got? Oh, so we got some message. Oh, all right, cool. Big Charlie chimed in. Right, he's got some photos. What do we got? Some photos of? Oh shit! That was from when uh, he rolled his. Uh, Trailblazer. Holy shit. God damn. Holy shit. God damn lucky. No shit. That was a while ago, though. Oh, shit. Big Charlie. Huh. 
Yeah, Big Charlie is a driver too, so uh, you know, never know. You guys might actually even cross each other on the road, even though he's like up here, Ohio, Ohio way. So. Mm. So <laughs> uh, all right. So this was about four years ago. We were talking about it because I told him about my uh, brake issue. That was in his trailblazer on his road. Uh, he almost, uh, well, he did kind of run into uh, 3500 HD. So, so yeah, I mean, I'm glad he's alive and didn't. That, that could have been a lot worse, but yeah. No, I just got them from Big Charlie. That was about four years ago. And so let's see. Uh, okay. All right. Both of them at 4 a.m. I'm nodding back. All right. Sounds good. I'll remember. I know you're five hours ahead. So if I, uh, you know, so. Yeah, no, I know. It's, uh, it's late. I'm five hours ahead. It's 11. So get some rest and we'll uh, talk to you later, buddy. All right. We'll see you. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought it was, but it was a trailblazer. It was just uh, what happened was he kind of hit and then went up on like a steep hill and then it just basically like just rolled from the angle of going up on the hill. It just basically flopped over on the top. That's crazy. Yeah, because we were talking about that uh, a little bit ago before the live stream because I had uh, Big Charlie in on the live stream via, via cell phone because he was driving, so... You know, that might be stuck just, you know, maybe I will fill in them lines or maybe I'll just leave the lines. Hell with it. It's supposed to go together like that. It's going to be painted over. How with it. We're just going to send it. Keith, we'll catch you later. Huh. Oh, shit. 500 bucks, that's shit. I don't think you can even buy a vehicle for 500, bar, 500 bucks uh, anymore. Them days are gone, unless it's a pile of shit. Mm 
Now bring me some fucking pudding. Now bring me some fucking pudding. Well, yeah, I mean, you're a Mopar guy, so, I mean, of course, you'd probably have Mopar engines laying around for it. Shit, stuff a big old 318 in there and call it a day. Alright, so no worry, I got a mask. Over what side? Huh. That's pretty cool. Well, apparently, I ain't, I ain't looking in the right places because up around here, everybody wants like blood for junk. So it's about how it normally goes. Volvo's ain't bad car. My uh, supervisor has one. He likes it. Hey, not a problem. Like I said, hey, it's all good. I, I appreciate the support and hanging out. I'm going to probably be getting off here myself because I'm going to probably take my meds and a nice uh, GHS and uh, might probably rack out. I know physical therapy kicked my ass today. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was like sore after. I mean, like I ain't been this sore in a while. So, but anyway, Mopar, I appreciate you hanging out. John, enjoy. It's uh, always a pleasure and we'll do this again next week. So, Mm -hmm. and a Merry Christmas people we got in the chat we got five who's still in the chat probably got some okay cool we got ernie Nice. Oh, we got four of the people, so probably one regular and two. Oh, so anyway. Well, everybody, it's been five hours and 15 minutes. I ain't trying to. Oh, okay. Cool, Ray. You're here. Sweet. Don't mind me, I'm just working on this. I was probably getting ready to retire soon here, but like I was saying, physical therapy kicked my ass today. I mean, it, well, they started kicking my ass the other day, but that's neither here nor there, but today is one of them days. I don't know if we got 
barometer drop in or what, but <clears throat> don't chill over the place. I'm going to this a little bit of 400 grit. Try to clean it up a little bit. Make it all nice and smoothy, smoothy. So, so when I go to apply paint, it'll be pretty good. So, so anyway. Uh, yeah. So yeah, no, I should have probably worked on a couple of other projects, but like I said, I just this is one that I kind of wanted to work on, and the best part is I can work on any project I want because, well, I've got plenty of them to work on. <laughs> oh shit, you guys are some troopers, I'll tell you that. You guys are some troopers sitting here listening to my crazy ass just ramble on about random random shit and funny shit and I enjoy this community ain't gonna lie I I enjoy this community so hmm. I think that might that might do it I might just leave that or maybe I'll try to go heavy in that spot and that'll Do, 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 do. Paint this black and hope it looks good. Uh huh. All right. Well, I think I'm going to probably kill it here in about two minutes. We're almost at, we're at 518 right now. So. I'll probably kill it at about 520. I'm going to go take, take my pills and probably go to bed. Well, actually, shoot. I can't necessarily go to bed. I got to go watch a couple of videos because, well, uh, so anyway. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Throw some of this in the box. Maybe Wednesday, if the weather's nice, maybe I'll have some paint and some stuff on this so that I can maybe get a decent amount of progress done. I got a decent amount of progress done. So, hey, y'all have a good night and uh, have a Merry Christmas if I don't catch you before then. And, uh, yeah, be safe out there and I'll uh, be in touch. Thank you all. Appreciate you all. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. See ya. Oh, we're three seconds over. Oh, and stream. Yes, your stream will stop. Yes, end. <laughs>